cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. It's our home, too. Being in an accident can leave you feeling vulnerable and lost. You need a lawyer who will fight for you and be there by your side the entire way. What I believe is that with trust and collaboration, we can get you the justice that you deserve. Go to kyleshall.com right now to schedule a free consultation. I will review the details of your case and get you back on your feet. Don't navigate the legal system alone. Get me in your corner right now. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Basketball Action on the College Level from Perry Campus Center here on the campus of Poopa Passes and Ellis Lloyd College. I'm Harold Mullins, along with David Adams, and David, out of football, into basketball, and we open up with a pretty good doubleheader from Alice Lloyd College. The Eagles will take on Midway University. You're right, Harold. Midway just about nine or ten miles west of Lexington. Made a short trip up, you might say, through the mountains and uh, looking forward to a good game. I think it'd be a physical ball game. I think both teams uh, like to get up and down and take that quickest shot possible. You know, in girls' basketball with that shot clock, you don't have a whole lot of time to settle down. So it's going to be interesting. Al Sloyd, just a little bit more size in the paint. And midway, a lot of speed out in the floor. Let's take a look at the keys to the game brought to you by Kyle Hall, attorney-in-law. And for midway, the Alice Lloyd needs to limit their three-point shooting and they also need to take care of the paint. Yeah, in this ball game, uh, both teams will want to do that, Harold. Uh, that paint is a big key in this ball game. Good pressure on that three-point line and take care of the paint. And for uh, Alice Lloyd, stop the fast break but run outs by midway and limit them to one attempt. Control your your boards, and you ought to be in pretty good shape here at home tonight. Yeah, absolutely. That three-point line is crucial. You must guard it, take care of it, because at this level, you find a lot of shooters on each one of these teams. Midway, of course, 6-4 and four on the season. They're 2-0 and oh in their conference. While Alice Lloyd, who last year was in the same conference as Midway, this year is not. And the Lady Eagles 5-3, and 1-1 one and one in the River State Conference. And they step outside the conference to take on Midway tonight. And uh, in the boys game coming up a little later, uh, boy, Scott Cornyn has his team off to an outstanding start, unbeaten on the year. We'll have more on that as we get deeper into the uh, telecast tonight. Alice Lloyd starts Hall, Thompson, Cash, May, and Clifton. And for Midway, they started uh, Jackson, Talley, White, Callahan, and uh, Goalie. And Goalie. So there you have the starting lineup. We'll have the playing of a national anthem and then tonight's opening tip off. Let's take a break. We'll come back to the Prairie Center on the campus of Alice Lloyd College. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. 
sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. Since 1954, Heinemann Funeral Services has been part of this community. When your family needs someone who cares, Danny Terry and his staff are here to help. During your family's time of need, they are a helping hand through every step of the process, from services to monument and to your loved one's final resting place. Celebrating over 50 years proud service to the community, Heinemann Funeral Services. Appalachian Wireless and Samsung introduced a smartphone that everyone is flipping over, the Z Flip 3. Looking for something that stands out in the crowd amongst regular smartphones? Then the Z Flip 3 is the device for you on the region's best service, Appalachian Wireless. The Z Flip 3 is an actual flip phone that, when opened, reveals a stunning 6.7-inch touchscreen for the best of both worlds. It's compact, powerful, and the most unique smartphone in the world. Get more information at AppalachianWireless.com. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Welcome back to the Prairie Center here on the campus of Al Floyd College. Harold Mullins, Dave Adams in with you tonight. And Harold, it's hard to believe the football is gone and the basketball has come on. One more weekend and that is the state championship final weekend in Lexington. That's coming up Friday and Saturday and a lot of good old mountain boy kids are going to be playing for a state championship. Pikeful, Belfry, Johnson Central, and I guess you actually you can count Ball County as well. But uh, a lot of exciting, uh, exciting football coming up. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for Midway. It is Jalen Jackson. A 5'4 freshman from Cold Springs, Kentucky, and Kendall Talley, a 5'6 junior from Frankfurt. Desiree White, a 5'11 junior from Houston, Texas. And uh, Allison Callahan, a 5'11 senior from Moorhead. Jill Goley, a Goldie, a 5'11 junior from Pineville. And for Alice Lloyd. You see him on the screen, Allie Hall, a 5'9 senior from Grayson. We'll start along with Maddie Thompson, a 6-foot sophomore from Inez. Hannah Kai is the point guard, a 5'4 senior from Campton. Allie May will we'll start as well, a 5'10 senior from Paintsville. And then in the middle, the aircraft carrier is 6'2", Alex Clifton, a 6'2 senior from Owenton, Kentucky. Yeah, um, Clifton may be a big key in this. Midway, uh, you know, Clifton can also come out here off 15, 18 feet, and we've seen her sh shoot threes before. So let's see the matchup, if she can go in and post some tonight and get maybe that matchup she wants inside. Midway will come with some size, but Clifton, great size for the Eagles. And what a lot of people don't know about her is – she can shoot the ball pretty well yeah, from behind the arc. Absolutely. So don't think just because she's six foot two that she can't step out behind the arc and do you a little damage because I assure you she can. It looks like Callahan, number thirty three of Midway, may have the Simon on Clifton, but Midway good size. And we're underway and a quick three is no good. And Alice Lloyd with a rebound inside, put up an in by Thompson, so a good beginning for the home team. Her first bucket gets the Eagles started. Looks like the Eagles will match up, Pearl, trying to be around that three-point line to, to uh, scoot them out some if they can. Easy drive there. Down the lane, and we've got our first foul, and the foul's going to be on number 10, 
of Ellis Lloyd, that is Hallie Hall. You know, that, first. that was too easy. You can't let a team tell you what is drive the lane me about like this, that. Okay? Have you noticed the new look at our referees? Uh, well, it is different. <laughs> the stripes <laughs> are smaller, and they're, you know, a little different color. And, uh, but and they go, uh, you know. Yeah. I'm kind of liking this look. May go back to refereeing myself to get some <laughs> stylish dudes, dudes like that. <laughs> Two to one, Alice Lloyd with lead down the lane. Cash lays it in. Nice move by Hannah Cash. Her first bucket. And, uh, well, glad you're aboard for football action no more. It is basketball time in the mountains. And uh, nothing like it. Callahan a little deep there, but takes the jumper and it comes off. We have our first high school game coming up here in a couple of days. Knott County Central and Letcher Central in high school basketball. It shot no good by Clifton. Not enough board on that attempt. That's a walk from here to there. <laughs> and White has her third point. First bucket, three for her. I think the most overlooked call in basketball anymore is the walk yeah this euro step which is a walk anyway you look at it i don't care what they call it go by the original rules of basketball that's a walk but we got a foul and that's going to be no, on goalie of uh midway her i thought that was a picky foul i mean just a little body contact this is college ball you get that body contact out of the corner, Clifton for three, no good. We talked about her ability to step outside and shoot that thing, and, and uh, she showed us that right there, although it did not go down. Four to three, Alice Lloyd with a one-point lead. Glad you have joined us for Collegiate Basketball on home down 24. As we kick off the season, got Alice Lloyd on several times this year. Coach Scott Cornett's team and Coach John Mills' team. There's a three by goalie and the first lead of the night for Midway. But looking for some exciting collegiate basketball, and now this time they call the walk. Now you tell me the difference between that Euro step and the one we just saw down at the other end. Well, really no difference. But <laughs> I don't need The official decided to go that way. Uh, oh, that's their prerogative. They yeah. got the whistle. <laughs> Didn't ask you and I, did they? <laughs> down the lane, and the ball lost out of bounds. They'll go back over to the Eagle. Looking forward to seeing all of our friends and uh Co-workers at the Christmas party this weekend, this week uh, uh, at the sports place. Yeah, you PG did. Communications yeah. and the. Christmas I'd like party. to went to that, uh, but uh, tied up. So, but can you eat enough for both of us? I'll do my best. I did tell them to go ahead and include you as a as going to be there, so that they could get more food in case I did decide. <laughs> Clifton hits the first and all net, and the second one will follow the same. Two for her, two in a row. Alice Lloyd. And Midway now tied at six, just underway. Four quarters in girls' basketball on the collegiate level, four 10 minute quarters. Nice There's move. a nice move by Goldie. Goldie has five as she. It's I see that possibly uh, as a turnover by Cash in the future for boys basketball going to the four-quarter game. Yeah. White has her second bucket, five for her midway. Alex Lloyd right now not taking care of the basketball. David, unforced their turnovers and uh, yeah. really. 10-6 uh, lead right now for midway. Cash, good pass. I thought she sh should have had that. It goes off the fingertips, and midway we'll get the basketball back as Jackson will get ready to 
Receive the basketball and bring it down, Harrell. And Midway's been trying to take care of the middle of the paint a lot on this. They spread the offense and try to get a drive or a screen. Right there's your screen coming across. You know, Midway for years was an all-female school. And it was, yes. Only gone co-ed in the last few years. Yeah. And, you know, Midway was in the Three Rivers Conference last season, Harrell, but they go to the Mid-South this season. Hall will have to bring it up, and White will pressure her. Alice Lloyd down by four, and uh, Midway looks uh, a little bit quicker than than the, yeah. than the Eagles right yeah. now. Thompson got good uh, advantage there. Got down on the block, used the board well, gets her second bucket. Good head fake, good drive, and a nice use of the board, and... That was number 11 tally with a big bucket there. You know, they look, they look a lot quicker than Alice Lloyd. Do you think so? Yeah, I thought especially nice in the backcourt. Uh, you know, in the backcourt, Moore makes a head fake there and goes in, gets the ball slap away. New people in for midway. Number 12 is Kiva. McCauley, open Thompson. foul line jump, jumper good by Thompson. She's had a good first quarter. 12 to 10. If you have not been to Alice Lloyd College or have not been to the Prairie Center, you're certainly missing out on a treat. Absolutely. Very nice. Absolutely. Basketball facility, shot put up and in, and right now Alice Lloyd's having McCauley a hard time. With her first bucket. And Miller with the uh, that was Miller number five, I think that got the bucket. Miller. Yeah, but uh, I tell you, they're having a hard time guarding them out well, on the floor. Uh, the speed out front has really been different. And when you bigs have to come out and they're not as quick. You usually get left if you don't have help in spots. Alice Lloyd trying to double team on the perimeter now, and a wide open three he is no good. That was White putting that up, and what do we got? They stop play as we got a clock issue, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Fourteen ten, maybe a restarting of the shot clock. Maybe that is what they are doing. New people coming in for Alice Lloyd. Number 24, May, is back in there, along with 34, Kinsey Manyard. Push off right there by... Offensive foul. Yeah. Too much hands on the body. Looks like Hall will get the honors to inbound the ball. Allie May has been shooting the ball awful well for Al Sloyd. Uh, she's going to have to get involved. I know you're involved. good friends with Coach Mills. Is, is he uh, happy with his team's progress? He is point? right now. He nice. is. Nice move there by Bernard. Bernard out of East Carter High School. And Grayson, Kentucky, there's a three from downtown. Good by Tally. Her first three on the night. 16 to 12, the midway with the lead and the ball. You know, watching these two teams play so far, I don't know how much longer Coach Mills can do man unless he might want to mix it up and he's uh, so he can have some offside help here, Harold, like right there by dropping Bernard in the paint. Tally again, no good. That last shot was a three-pointer, so it is 17 to 12. The score on your screen is wrong. Well. And the shot put up an end. It is now 19 to 12, and Alice Lloyd falling yeah. behind Midway early yeah, the with speed, a timeout on the floor. The speed is a little different right yes, now. Yes, it is. We'll take a break. We'll be back. 17 to 12 in favor of Midway. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. <laughs> I believe in getting your hands dirty. 
I believe the best recipes are never written down. I believe in fried chicken, cornbread, and soup beans. I believe in the cards. I believe in cats. I believe in insurance coverage that helps you sleep at night. I believe in always carrying an umbrella. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Contact Derek Bowling, your Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in Hazard. Back at Alice Lloyd, 19 to 12, the score. It is the midway with the lead over Alice Lloyd. And the Eagles facing pressure, and its pressure is really giving them problems. Yeah, they're trying to trap on the sides with this kind of pressure. And uh, nice job by the Eagles to get that shot. That's a hard shot. Open, a yeah. wide open three, and it didn't go. Tally, who has scored a couple of buckets for Midway, appears to be their best three-point shooter. Allie May hits the board for the Eagles there on the rebound. Hall's got to hit some of these shots. Hurt. Hall Bates line jumper. That won't go as well and out of bounds. Hall's dropped out of bounds by Midway. Hall's got to hit some of these shots, uh, you know, because the speed, the quickness, and the height of Midway is going to limit you. So you've got to take advantage when you do get a good shot. For Midway, number 20 coming into the lineup, that's Cassidy Doherty, a 5'7 freshman from Owensboro. Went to Did you say at, Doherty? A, played at okay. Apollo High School. Down inside they go, and a kick it back out, and the shot is good by Thompson. Thompson's had a big game. Eight points so far. She's uh, found her rhythm, and uh, the Eagles need to notice that and get her the basketball when possible. 1914 inside three minutes of the first quarter. These two teams were in the same conference a year ago. I should already shot no good. Rebound, Alice Lloyd. And uh, since Midway has moved to the Mid-South and... Alice Lloyd remains in the River State Conference. Midway, a drive, and a shot no good, and a put back no good, and we got a foul inside. That's going to be on Alice Lloyd's number 34, Main, uh, Menard. And, uh, you know, right there is the example. You've got to block out when you're playing a team that's very quick, and uh, you want to limit them, and you've got to put a body on them. McCullough is a very, very athletic-looking young lady, isn't she, Tom? Yes, she is. Thin. That's her third point as free throw goes. She's from Nashville, Tennessee. Music City. Transferred in from Roan State Community College. She's a junior, her first year at Midway. How a wide-open 16-footer, but shoots it hard. Boy. They're just beating them down court right now, and another foul inside. That's either on Hall. It is Hall, number 10. Midway seems to be hitting the uh, easy shots, they call them, Harold, and Al Sloyd is not hitting the easy shots. Number 12, Malkinson from Rockford, Illinois, into the lineup for Al Sloyd, a sophomore. Twenty fourteen, Callahan make that twenty one fourteen. Free throw goes for her, and another one coming up. Two in a row for her. Twenty two fourteen, the scoreboard. Coach Mills substituting right now, trying to find a group that's moving the ball well and hitting some shots and playing some defense. Right now, Alice Lloyd is just not. Matching the speed and quickness. Well, they're not limiting uh, uh, midway to that one shot, too. They're getting two or three shots at a temp in the paint, and they've got to stop that, too. Cash is back in, eyes the basket, and drives to the right. And there's a nice shot out on the floor by the Eagles, number 12, Harold. For Alice Lloyd, that is 
Malcolmson. Malcolmson, a nice jumper as she follows through well. And I really enjoyed that. Kick it back out. Straight away three. Good. Oh, yeah. Oh. They have. Uh, Alice Lloyd was coming the Coming right back. 25 to 20. Final 120 seconds of the first quarter. Alice Lloyd's gone zone. Could yeah. not match up with the quickness for midway. Shot no good. I think that's a good move by Rebound Coach Rebound down Mills. inside Thompson to Cash. Minute to go in the quarter. Yeah, midway scored 25 points in the first quarter. There's a three no good. Clifton. No good. Got to hit that. Got to hit Clifton that. Clifton did not go up strong and there. And did not use the block on the backboard. She's got to put the ball in the square. Long three, no good. Rebound Thompson, 38 seconds to go. And Cash kicks it out of bounds. Boy, Alice Lloyd has, been, has not been sharp. Yeah, Cash went in the lane standing up. She's got to be in that back and protect the basketball. And uh, if you don't at this level, it will get knocked away from you. 30 seconds, first quarter from the Perry Center. Al Sloy still is on cash. by Cash, and the driving layup is good. Nice defensive play by Miss Cash out of Lee County High School. 25-22, final 12 seconds. Cash has four. And a long three, good by number 22, Mucker. And Midway has jumped out to a 28-22 first quarter lead. We'll be back. Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. A place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between. We're committed to serving you with the latest technology. Whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. <laughs> We're back as we are played one in the girls' game here at the Prairie Center in Alice Lloyd. It is 28-22 in favor of Midway, and, uh, and Midway has been most impressive in the first yeah, quarter. White has seven to lead them, and for Alice Lloyd, Thompson has eight to lead the Eagles here in the first quarter. And... Uh, Clifton has uh, pitched in a little bit, three boards and two points, and you've got Cash that has four hurl, and but very impressed with White, her ability to move with the basketball, her athletic ability to rebound, and she's helped set her team up with some easy buckets too. Goldie had two easy buckets off of her. So I, I tell you, I'll be honest with you, I've been impressed with the Midway. Yeah. I think they, they uh, look yeah. to be the quicker uh, team, the better team, the better defensive team early on. Alice Lloyd's been forced to go to a zone yeah. simply because they couldn't match the quickness. But if you play zone, you got to limit it on one shot. Somebody's got to put a body on whoever they're close to. There's a ball knocked away. They go to the floor midway with it. And out of the corner, the three is good. Like White gets another three, Harold, and she's got White. ten. Ten points already early in the second quarter. Allie May drives into the lane, fires it up. She threw up a prayer, and she got it answered because yeah. they build her out on that one. She's going to go to the line. It looks like White's going to get the foul, too. And I, 
you know. You, maybe, I hate to see that, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I, I think she didn't really make a lot of arm motion there, I didn't think so. First shot is good. That's four for Allie May, and they need a lot of scoring out of her. A very good shooter out of Johnson Central High School. 31-24, Alice Lloyd within seven, and we're back to play. Jackson got the duty of bringing the basketball up for midway. There's a three, no good, rebound down inside, and boy, they just beating Alice Lloyd every 50-50 yeah. ball. Quite a good pass there to her teammate. She just couldn't finish it, and uh, you're right. The speed of midway is a little more, and I thought that was a very good move by Coach Mills to go zone. Well, it, it was out of necessity, I can tell you that, and pull-up jumper good Looks by like Moore. Moore out of McDowell, Kentucky, gets her first bucket. At the line will be a number 33. That is, looks like Haley Callahan. Hall. Coming back in for midway, shot no good. Alice Lloyd down by five. Have managed to uh, really stay close because of the zone. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, it's really uh, give them a few minutes here and give them a chance to get back and get close with this game. This pressure is really giving Alice Lloyd fits. Front court hall with it. Gets it over and a nice pull-up jumper. That won't go. Moore took the shot. And not a bad shot. No, it's that was a good shot. Footer is a good shot. Looks like Alice Lloyd's going back man to man. Yep. Callahan into white. She's tough there, Harold. Shot no good. And Alice Lloyd with the rebound and bringing it in front court. Lady Eagles, five and three on the season, one and one White in the conference. Their two conference games have both been on the road in Indiana where they won one and lost one. Here's shot good by Clifton. She has four. Nice use of the board. Put it in the square there and made it count. 32-28. Seven and a half minutes to go until half. Down inside, and I thought she picked her baby foot up. I come, Coach Mills thought she picked her baby foot up. I, I thought that was, a, you know, an obvious walk, but uh, what do we got? Uh, we do have a 30, I thought we had a 30-second uh, timeout by Coach Mills, and he knew there was a walk, and I think he went down and got him a drink of water. Why not? It's that I kind think, of night. I think he got more than a drink of water there. I, I, I know. <laughs> he got the water, water coolers right down there. He went down. He didn't say nothing to the official. He got him a drink. He's back. Do He's you ready really to believe that? Not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> 34-28. Interesting year ahead. Boy, we uh, uh, look forward to the opening uh, of the high school basketball season. Uh, Perry Central opened their season last night and was trounced by a really good Harlan County team. Uh, and a game that, to be honest, they were never in. Now, was that boys, girls? Yes, it was boys. Well, you I, know, uh, I've got Shannon with a pretty decent team this year if he gets them lined out. But, you I know. You, he's going. To, he's got a long way to go. Well. Uh, they were uh, really – I watched the game, uh, and uh, they were uh, really – I'll tell they you. They were in it, to be honest. I'll tell you a team that may fool everybody this year. I think Wolf County. I don't know if they can win the thing, Harold, but I think they're going to be better than people thought. They Why were. can't they win it? Well, you've got a team, uh, Bobcats I, and the Patriots, and, uh, you know, you've got a lot of – Well, I'll tell you, you right know. now, <laughs> I, I think 
Breathitt County probably uh, the number one team in the region right now, no doubt about that. And and if I was uh, walking on cash, yeah, if I was picking or ranking them, I would certainly make Breathitt County number one. However, I think the distance between Breathitt and Wolf is extremely close. Yes, I Wolf do too. Wolf returns the to the Tolson boys. Uh, they're coming back for another year. The only one they lost was Johnson. Granted, he's a big loss, but uh, that's yeah. a three-pointer good. Johnson was kind of kid, Harold. If the, you know, if you had to have a shot, and uh, you know, and that bucket, he was very good at uh, getting that shot. They, uh, but they do. They have the big kid in the middle. He's on. I like he's him. A sophomore. I like him. They've got the Holson brothers. Uh, they. They've got Thompson back. I just think Wolf County may be closer to Breathitt County than people will give them credit. Yeah. I do know one thing. When they uh, play each other. Callahan with Down a there three. with the district uh, seating on the line. That's going to be a game. That, that, that's going to be fun to watch because yeah. both of them will get it up and down the court. Both of them will shoot it. And both of them will uh, score 100 points in, in the blink of an eye. 40-28 as the Eagles have missed the last couple trips down, Harold, and Midway has took care of advantage. Right, right now, this Midway team come to Pippa Passes, Kentucky, to yeah. play basketball tonight, and they are running it out Fort by Pass. 15. Yes. Thompson going to bring it down. Uh, Alice, Mower. Alice Lloyd cannot seem to do anything. Haley Hall gets a bucket, and that's her fourth point. And Midway's got a turnover here. It's not all the way out, throwing the ball in to get it going quickly. 43-30 with 5.42 to go. And uh, I, I'm, I'm impressed with the way Midway moves the basketball, too. They and I think we are talking about the high school rankings. And I think everybody else in the region, the Prairie Centrals, the Not Centrals, the, the hazards. That's an offensive foul. Oh, they're going to give it to her. She may have been in the restricted area. No, they called it an offensive foul. Uh, I think that was a clear charge. Yeah. Well, I got news for you. They're going to the line. No, I don't think the referee knows exactly what he called. He's asking. Yeah, it's an offensive foul. I think he came over to ask if she was in the restricted area. And uh, yeah. she was out of the restricted area, therefore it was a charge. Absolutely. Hall's got to get better in this game for Al Floyd to come get where they need to be in this game. I think uh, continuing talking about the high school, uh, I think Knott County is a ways to go. That's a nice pass from Cash to Clifton. Knock County has a ways to go. They they are replacing a lot of their scoring. They are. A lot of their rebounding. They are. A lot of, of other things. By the way, McGuire is red shirting this year at Yes, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. He's playing on the junior varsity yeah. team, I think. But uh, they are. Uh, uh, they've got a lot of growing up to do, and they're going to get better, but they, they're going to have to get better because, you know. Some of the other teams a little ahead of them. Right yeah, now. Breathitt County is a veteran team, and Wolf County is too. They got they got that age and got that strength, Earl. So that helps. Down the lane, shot no good, but we got a foul. And on the other side of the coin, after the performance we saw last night in Hindman, I don't know if that Knight County Central girls basketball team looked very good. Very good. Harlan. And uh, if they're not the number one team in the region, now granted we got some teams that's going to get make well, a run out of them. Now you got I think the Owls. Owls, yeah, I think. Owls has got a couple kids that can. But David, Lynch is pretty good. And Smith I agree is a good with you. Guard. But if you was and picking one. I like one, them. If and, you was picking and one. I know the Cougars got whipped last night, but I want to tell you the Cougars will be in that regional tournament. Oh, I agree with that. That's very, very little doubt oh, of that. That's they are. probably the biggest understatement I've ever heard in my life. We know Jeff Honeycutt. 
It's got a good team. I'm no, he's got a great team. We no, I'm not putting any pressure on him. He should just wash out I the rage. I don't care about the pressure. <laughs> I'm just telling you that I'm not going to do him that way. He's got a basketball team that somebody's going to have Coach to Coach Honeycutt, I know you're watching this game. You always Coach uh, Harold Mullins is putting all the pressure on you. DA is not. Well, I got news <laughs> for you. When you return your whole team off of you uh, a win. multi-state <laughs> tournament visits, you better win. I mean, you know, you you you're going to have to put up with the pressure. <clears throat> is all I can say because you know anybody that knows anything <laughs> about basketball will tell you, Knock County Central girls team is a very good basketball. Oh team. yes, absolutely. 46, I, I think we got some good kids in the region too, Harold. It's going to be exciting I'm, to watch I'm not, them play. Not to down any of the other teams. Uh, yeah. uh, Prairie Central will have a nice team. I think uh, hey, you know Prairie. Owsley will be. Uh, Owsley will have a good team. Leslie yeah. County will have a good team. Um, yeah, Leslie Central County. Central will have a, You're a right. good team. Coach Sparks should but have a good ball club over this year. All things considered, I still. Like the the, the the team that that uh, down the road. Well, no bit. question about it. They're they're going to be in it. They're one of the teams. Uh, Look, no you, let's go out on a limb here and say, Knock County Central will be in the regional tournament. Uh, oh, play. there's no question <laughs> about that. I I got them in the Cougars. Well, you made I, a grand statement. Leicester <laughs> Central was going to. Hey, <laughs> listen. I I still think the Cougars is. Uh, Going to be there when the time comes. They've got a lot of experience. Well, they on always that team. are. Yeah. Nobody, you know, nobody. Uh, uh, yeah. We saw the game last year that went four overtimes. And you know, Owsley has everybody back. Four of those kids were seniors that come back, got that extra year. You know, uh, let's see if that helps the house. Well, they 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 were good last year, and they'll be good again. I agree. I mean, poor old Jeff Honeycutt getting all this heat early in the season. I don't, <laughs> I don't see how he can get away from it. <laughs> Coach Honeycutt, I will not do you that way. No way. <laughs> and I think that uh, he understands that. You know, he understands. Coach Honeycutt did lose a Mullins girl that was pretty good last year, Harold. Oh, yeah, he did. But he yeah. also returned. I, pretty good basketball. Team. Well, he did, but now I, listen, uh, you just can't put all the heat on him like that. I think he's 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 going to have to battle. Why he makes the big bucks? Uh, Cougars are got a good ball club, and Owsley's got a good ball club. David, do not go. Perry, do not sit here and insult I, my Coach Honeycutt. Okay? <laughs> if you are watching this game, Harold Mullins is doing a number, and I'm doing my best to keep him down. I'm not doing a number on anybody. I'm just saying that he returns. Let's put it this way. I guarantee you that you go around to all the coaches in the region and say, would you trade teams with with the Oh, Mr. I don't think he would trade teams, but I think he'd No, I'd say they would. He's would. got his work. I'd say they would. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh. It was a drive and a shot out of bounds. No good, but touch ice by Alice Lloyd. 48-36. Eagles trying their very best to stay in contact with a pretty good midway team. Yeah, midway, I tell you what, also helps this ball club. they got good size. They can go out at that three-point line. They're four and five players and take that shot. Jackson. Yeah, they're much quicker than Alice yeah, Lloyd. Jackson and Alice with a Lloyd's nice having three. a hard time running them off the three-point line. Down now by 15. Foul picked up by Jackson. A little too much on the arm. And uh, 51-36 with two and a half minutes to play here to a half. Midway's coach. He didn't like he, he Coach didn't, Chris Miner. He didn't like the foul call. Well, he thought it was I think, picky. I think he thought it was picky, picky, picky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. The 51 37. Well, you said a while ago that, that, that they, you know, this is college ball. <laughs> it is. And 
<laughs> you expect a little more contact than that right there. 51-38, Alice Lloyd down by 13. Two and a half to go until halftime. Your phone blowing up. Who you have yeah. here? Yeah, it is. <laughs> And I'm who's glad giving, they're picking on you and who's, still Who's mate. giving me a hard time? <laughs> is Jeff Honeycutt giving me a hard time? <laughs> There's a uh, turnover and a jumper. No. Nice Clifton jump. waits in to get it for the Eagles. She's got to come out of there stronger than that. Yeah. Finally gets it out to Allie May on the drive and a kick. And the ball remains with the Eagles. So is, is uh, Coach Honeycutt uh, – uh, I'm not going to repeat what he's got to say. <laughs> oh. uh, what uh, good is life if you can't be put under just a little bit of pressure? I mean, you have really our first basketball game, and you put that heat on him. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh. I just, I just think he's got the better team. That's, that, you know, I mean. Not that they and anybody can be beat. I'm not saying yeah. that, but I just think I like his chances. Well, yeah, I think he's got an opportunity. Him and uh, Owsley and Letcher, they, they've all got opportunity. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, the season's just started. We've got a lot of teams that has yet to be beaten out of the tournament. Oh, absolutely. Everybody's got a shot. Absolutely. Some people got a little better shot than <laughs> others. There's a long three, White. no get. Uh, bad shot that time. She Alice didn't Lloyd. have anybody under. Alice Lloyd needs to get this thing down within single digits. There's a nice move and a pull-up jumper. Boy, will not go down. Yeah, Hall's had Hall that just nine. is having all kinds of problems getting one to fall. Thompson right there around that free throw line, and she's had a pretty good ball game. She needs – Allie May, straight away three, no good. Neither team going after the basketball there. And the ball knocked out of bounds as Alice Lloyd will control. 108 remaining second quarter. Hope everybody sticks around after the game. We've got the men's game coming up right after this one, fall. 30 minutes after, and Harold, that could be an exciting basketball game. Yeah. Uh, you know, Both teams having a good didn't, season. Did Winston Bennett start the mail, the uh, men's program at uh, Midway? That was at Mid-Continent he started. Yeah, he's there, but he came yeah. to Midway too, I think. Uh, maybe the first year. I think he came there yeah. and started their program. Here's the driving a shot block. Yeah, he was at Mid-Continent. Yeah. That's where is he there, is. Is that even a school anymore? I don't think so. It was way down the western tip end of Kentucky and right, right. on the line, and uh, I do not think that's a school anymore. There's a long Wise. three. No good. Alice Lloyd rebound. Midway's not bashful. If they get daylight, they will put it up. Ellie May drives baseline, gets shut off, and gets fouled. Looks like Allie May will go to the line. And once again, She'll go Coach for Miner says, are you kidding me? <laughs> I love his facial <laughs> expression. You can see it on yeah. screen there. He just. <laughs> Five points for Allie May shooting for number six, and he's given his story. I'm just. I'm just quite taken with the uh, the new referee uniforms. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my first time seeing him, I gotta say, like him. And there's a ball lost out of bounds. Yeah, Nard battling there, just lead down to hold twelve. Of it. Midway by twelve. Midway down between Lexington and Frankfurt. Yeah. Oh, nice He's campus. Traveling on down, down there. through there on 64. You can right over to the left. You can. Yeah. Out of the corner. Good three point basket. Boy, Midway. Very impressive basketball team. Good pressure. And a three to the other way Hall. is good. Finally, Hall gets one to drop. Eight points for her, but Al Sloyd's got to make some stops here. A run out and a basket at the buzzer, Callahan. and boy, John Mills is more than a little bit put out at his team. 
Yep. We've arrived at halftime at the Prairie Center. 56 to 42 in favor of Midway. We'll take a break. We'll be back. At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available. Whether that be through expansion of our fiber to the home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. It's our home too. Being in an accident can leave you feeling vulnerable and lost. You need a lawyer who will fight for you and be there by your side the entire way. What I believe is that with trust and collaboration, we can get you the justice that you deserve. Go to kyleshall.com right now to schedule a free consultation. I'll review the details of your case and get you back on your feet. Don't navigate the legal system alone. Get me in your corner right now. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. Since 1954, Heinemann Funeral Services has been part of this community. When your family needs someone who cares, Danny Terry and his staff are here to help. During your family's time of need, they are a helping hand through every step of the process, from services to monument and to your loved one's final resting place. Celebrating over 50 years proud service to the community, Heinemann Funeral Services. Appalachian Wireless and Samsung introduced a smartphone that everyone is flipping over, the Z Flip 3. Looking for something that stands out in the crowd amongst regular smartphones? Then the Z Flip 3 is the device for you. On the region's best service, Appalachian Wireless, the Z Flip 3 is an actual flip phone that, when opened, reveals a stunning 6.7-inch touchscreen for the best of both worlds. It's compact, powerful, and the most unique smartphone in the world. Get more information at AppalachianWireless.com. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. <laughs> I believe in getting your hands dirty. I believe the best recipes are never written down. I believe in fried chicken, cornbread, and soup beans. I believe in the cards. I believe in cats. I believe in insurance coverage that helps you sleep at night. I believe in always carrying an umbrella. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Contact Derek Bowling, your Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in Hazard. Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. 
a place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between, we're committed to serving you with the latest technology, whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available. Whether that be through expansion of our fiber to the home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. It's our home too. Being in an accident can leave you feeling vulnerable and lost. You need a lawyer who will fight for you and be there by your side the entire way. What I believe is that with trust and collaboration, we can get you the justice that you deserve. Go to KyleSHall.com right now to schedule a free consultation. I will review the details of your case and get you back on your feet. Don't navigate the legal system alone. Get me in your corner right now. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. Since 1954, Heinemann Funeral Services has been part of this community. When your family needs someone who cares, Danny Terry and his staff are here to help. During your family's time of need, they are a helping hand through every step of the process, from services to monument and to your loved one's final resting place. Celebrating over 50 years proud service to the community, Heinemann Funeral Services. Appalachian Wireless and Samsung introduced a smartphone that everyone is flipping over, the Z Flip 3. Looking for something that stands out in the crowd amongst regular smartphones? Then the Z Flip 3 is the device for you. On the region's best service, Appalachian Wireless, the Z Flip 3 is an actual flip phone that, when opened, reveals a stunning 6.7-inch touchscreen for the best of both worlds. It's compact, powerful, and the most unique smartphone in the world. Get more information at AppalachianWireless.com. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. <laughs> I believe in getting your hands dirty. I believe the best recipes are never written down. I believe in fried chicken, cornbread, and soup beans. I believe in the cards. I believe in cats. I believe in insurance coverage that helps you sleep at night. I believe in always carrying an umbrella. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Contact Derek Bowling, your Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in Hazard. Back to the Prairie Center here at Alice Lloyd College, and welcome to our man Toyota at the half. 
As Alice Lloyd down by 14 to the Midway Eagles, 56 to 42. And David, as a former coach and a Hall of Famer, I forgot to mention that earlier. Forgive me for not for not uh, giving you your accolades. Well, but I'm as gonna... a former coach and Hall of Famer, what has Alice Lloyd done to be down 14 points. Well, Midway's hit some threes, and they've shot them wide open. And when they miss, they've hit the board and got that second shot. Eagles has got to get out on the line a little better and put pressure in their zone. I don't know if they can guard this team man-to-man. Uh, this team is a lot quicker. I know the very one, little, two, but I do know from yeah. what I have seen, <laughs> yeah. they cannot. <laughs> yeah, so uh, they're going to have to extend their zone and uh, keep their man in front of them and uh, try to do that way. Uh, the 2-3 matchup, I thought that was a good move by Coach Mills, but his team must rebound after the shot is gone up. Midway's took advantage of the missed shot and got some shots going there. And on Al Sloyd's end, they got to hit those little easy shots they've been getting and play a little stronger and physical. You know, the thing that uh, that jumped out at me is uh, how much quicker Midway gets to a loose ball than Alice Lloyd. You know, they just, they, they're so much quicker. They and they're are. winning the 50-50 balls. And, and when you do that, shoot the ball well and, and get it off the glass, you got a better than even chance of winning the game. And right now, Midway is up on top of Alice Lloyd by 14. Now, Alice Lloyd certainly can come back in this game. Oh yeah, but uh, I think uh, the I think I'm like you. I think you got to play a little more zone. Yeah, I think they've got to extend the zone too, Harold. They've got to be on the three point line and force uh, Midway to shoot that 25 footer instead of that 21 footer. They've got to do that, and if they are not able to do that, it's it's going to be hard on them. Coming up later in the week, uh, we will have basketball action here on Hometown 24. Thursday night, we will be back in action right here as we will have a game between the Prairie County Central Commodores and the Cordial Lions and the Knott County Central Patriots and the Letcher Cougars. So we two have two games. Big boys yeah. games, and one of those games will be on Hometown 24, and the other one will be on Hometown 24 plus one. 25. Is that 25? <laughs> That's <Okay>. it. <laughs> so a lot of good basketball. <laughs> oh. and, look, and I'm sure after watching Prairie Central open up last night with a loss at home to Harlan County, I'm sure – that Coach Shannon Hoskins cannot wait to get his guys back out on the court. But they're playing a pretty good Cordia line basketball team. Yeah, Cordia is the team that will come at you. They'll play hard. And uh, and this game is at Cordia. Is that game going to be at Cordia or will it be here it'll be at, at Hindman? It'll be at the uh, Pearl Combs or the Old Hindman High School. Yeah. 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 The uh, middle yeah. school. Yeah. Perfect. So I thought I was under the impression that they would be playing back over at Cordia. No, I I don't think so. Not yet. I I I, I know they had they had repairs done to the uh, to the gym over there. Yeah. They will go back this season when it is ready, and uh, I don't I don't know. I know very little of anything about that situation over there but uh, uh, I do know that I can remember when that gym was built I don't know if you can I uh, than you, but uh, I can remember when that gym was built at, at Lots Creek and uh, hit you know hit was in just you know bad shape let's yeah. be honest and uh, let's hope that they can get it back where they can get over there because it's got to be hard on the school and, and the administration, the personnel, and, and all of that, uh, to to have to come to Hyman to play uh, play home games. You know, uh, playing on several gyms and and so forth, I, that was one of the gyms that was a very good shooting gym. Uh, they got the, the background rim. Yeah, it was a good. The floor, very good. Uh, you know, uh, 
it was and you go there and you had a good atmosphere uh yeah. basketball i agree yeah our man toyota at the hype brought to you by man toyota of prestonsburg we appreciate them very much and uh, welcome them aboard all season long as they sponsor our at the hive show let's take a real quick 30 second break we'll come back second half just ahead since 1954, Heinemann Funeral Services has been part of this community. When your family needs someone who cares, Danny Terry and his staff are here to help. During your family's time of need, they are a helping hand through every step of the process, from services to monument and to your loved one's final resting place. Celebrating over 50 years proud service to the community, Heinemann Funeral Services. Back to action at the Prairie Center. Midway brings it down, gets that quick shot, and hits the boards. And well, it's, we've got to do a better job of rebounding the basketball. That's a nice up-and-under move and a bucket by Jackson to get the third quarter underway. And Midway begins the third quarter much like they ended the second. That is just taking the fight right to the Eagles. Jackson with her fourth point as Clifton gets the easy bucket underneath for Al Sloyd. Cash almost with a steal there. Jackson races it in front court as Midway uh, with the mismatch. move and the uh, scoop shot yeah. is good. White has 12 with that shot. And, Earl, I tell you, she you get a mismatch like that, a guard on her, and you're in trouble. 5'11", Jr. from Houston, Texas, our Lady of the Lake High School in Houston, Texas. And, uh, boy, Midway, uh, from the looks of things, have, have uh, expanded uh, their recruiting base out, and uh, they've got some pretty nice-looking kids. They've shot no good and rebound down wide has it again. Allie May with that jumper there. Not a bad shot for her. Tally out of the corner and up. And, boy, Alice Lloyd is just giving up offensive rebound after offensive yeah, rebound. Yeah, that's been the difference the second quarter of the ball game. They take the shot, they get the second shot, and the third shot. And that's what I'm sure Coach Mills addressed. And that's got to be cut out as Thompson over to Alley May. And here comes the pressure from the Midway Eagles. That's another thing I think Alice Lloyd had problems with the pressure uh, when they didn't turn it over, her Clifton underneath, and she's got to get an end one there. Yeah, she does. That ball's got to go in the square, and she's got to take the punishment and put the basket. Put the basket. Saturday ball night, a, a game, uh, a doubleheader from Alice Lloyd, a conference game with Oakland City of Indiana. And that game coming up Saturday night live here on Hometown Twenty Four. Is and, that a uh, day game or a night game, Harold? Uh, I don't know. It does uh, not have the time. I'm, I'm sure. I'm thinking it's a one, one, one or two o'clock game. Uh, we'll so have to maybe, find out. Uh, maybe a matinee performance over there. Boys and girls doubleheader. Clifton. Shot no good. Clifton uh, one misses out of two. the free throw. And Alice Lloyd down by 15. And there was a nice defensive play by Cash. Alice Lloyd will get it back on the alternating possession. Thompson trying to bring it on up for the Eagles. Underneath Cash, nice move, put it up and in. Cash has six. Good sharp that. cut to the basket by Cash, nice feed. And Alice Lloyd back within 13. Jackson setting it up. Thompson sitting on her feet defensively there, good move. She had no good and rebound down to Hall, and she's been very – uh, very much off tonight, her shooting. There's Thompson again, and she has been Alice Lloyd's best player to this point. Yep. 60 to 49. Double figures for her now with 10. We have a chance a little later on that we'll run through our sponsor list for the basketball season, and uh, we certainly appreciate our many sponsors and there's a shot blocked out of bounds by Thompson. Maddie Thompson from INS. Yep. Goldie. Six foot sophomore. Pretty good looking player as Clifton's going to leave. Yeah. 
Goldie with a little head fake there. And, uh, Bailey Bernard will come in. Jackson working on Cash, Cash Fowler. Yeah, reached her left arm in and got some. Uh, Didn't really need to do yeah, that either. No, uh, all straight up. And I don't think Jackson well. was going to hurt her uh, on that shot, do you? Mm -mm. Off balance, going away from the basket. and At the line, Jackson. Got all net. Six points for her, and... Uh, She's played well setting her team up and hitting her teammates. Shot no good. Rebound down. Alice Floyd can get it to within 10 with a bucket here or maybe to nine with a three-point shot. Hall oh, penetrates, kicks it in the corner to Cash. And Cash guilty of turning it over. <laughs> Coach Mills didn't agree with the official's call that time. Sixty-one forty-nine. Jackson for three. No. Rebound foul underneath is going to be on Bree Howard. Or correction. May have been McCullough. It was McCullough from Rome City. Bernard getting in trouble there and coming back is Thompson to uh, maybe a step there, Harold. We, uh, the Eagles got away with one. Very well could have been right. Down the lane, shot no good haul, but she'll go to the line. And from the foul line, Alice Lloyd can cut the lead to 10. Hall's had some moves tonight to the basket, just coming up a little short or bouncing out. And if she can get some of those going here uh, to cut into this lead, it may give the Eagles the chance they want in this last quarter. Hall, try to get Hall, the senior from Grayson. She's had a very, very good career now. Yep, nine, and we'll be shooting for her tenth point right here in the ball game. And got it. 61-51, the biggest lead of 16 now, cut down to 10. 6-17 to go on a running clock, and what do we got? Looks like uh, we're going to have a foul on Moore as – Jackson drives with that left hand, goes down on the block, and puts her body into her to draw the foul. Moore, freshman from McDowell. Played at South Floyd High School. And Jackson making a living at the foul line. Six point, shooting for number seven. Got a nice follow through. Wrist action. She's a nice player. Yep. 63-51, front court. Alice Lloyd, long three more, and that's not close. Off balance and really never had her feet. Don't really set. believe that's the shot you want. No, I don't think so. Uh-oh, we've got uh, off the foot here, but White picks it up. They'll bring it in front court along the baseline. Nice move there, and ball knocked out of bounds by Malkinson. Malkinson. Illinois. Rockford, Illinois. Long way from eight home. sophomore. Yes, it is. Jackson back inside. Now moving with the left hand, and this shot's no good. See, right there is another example of getting two shots. Goalie with uh, the foul and the missed shot. And going to the line will be Alice Lloyd, and they'll shoot two. Alice Lloyd needs to continue to make their free throws. 
Yes, they do. This one is good. Coach Mills has really had an outstanding career down. Yeah, there. you know, he did a good job at Berea College, too, I thought. So he's uh, had a good program down there, and uh, he coached the men at Berea College. He's been at Dallas Floyd how many years? Now? Well, he played there. He played there when I was there playing. So he knows a lot about Alice Lloyd College and uh, uh, the system and uh, how the school operates. And he does a good job with those kids. And uh, Harold Alice Lloyd College, a nice opportunity for a lot of kids in the area to go over and take advantage of a good education. Oh, for three, no good run out the other way. Tally to Jackson for the runner. Jackson's having the ball game. She's heating up now. Double figures for her. And the Eagles have got to take advantage when they get the opportunity down here. Like that right there, you've got to make nice it drive count. along the baseline that time, and the shot was good by Malkinson. She has four. Boy, Left hand, off <laughs> time out pass. by Midway. It's quick 30 second time out on a 12 point lead. But right now, Alice Lloyd just cannot guard White. Yep, she's got 14, and she's she's done a nice job of giving the ball to her teammates as well. She's played a complete game so far, hitting the board, defense. You, yep. uh, you talk about uh, Saturday afternoon uh, that a Madden A double hitter, I believe, at Alice Lloyd. You were talking about, and uh, that big conference game. Yes, Oakland City joined the conference. Uh, I, I'm not sure if they this played. year is the first yeah. year. I think them and St. Mary's is that correct? Yes. And uh, I tell you, this River State Conference, uh, Alice Lloyd has had in the past problems going on the road in this conference and winning. Yeah. This year, Coach Scott Cornett has gone on the road for his first two conference games, and he's won them both. I thought that was a big win at IU Southeast. Uh, I, IU Southeast is tough there. Uh, it's very hard to get a win there. And it took a last-second shot by Phil Pot to do it, but Alice Lloyd off and running in the conference at 2-0. and oh. Here goes Cash, and she lost the ball, got it back, goes underneath it, and they leave it off. Boy, Alice Lloyd just not handling the ball really good. There's a three-pointer Cash, no good. Went down and come out, got robbed. And a run out the other way. Cash with a nice defensive play, knocked that out of bounds. Good hustle. 67-55, 425 to go here in the third quarter. Men's action coming up right about 30 minutes after this one. you want to stay around for that one. As we said earlier, Midway once belonged to this River State Conference, but it's since changed their you conference know, Harold, affiliation watching them play, to the Mid-South. I think I, I'm not going to see the men yet, but watching the women play, they can compete in the Mid-South. They can compete. Because, you know, Coach Mills plays some Mid-South teams, and he plays well with them. So, uh, you know, I think the Cumberlands only beat him a couple points, University of Cumberlands. And uh, so look out for this Midway team. They've loaded up the uh, roster here, and they're a pretty good outfit. Ninth-looking basketball team, you're exactly right. 425 still remaining. Don't understand for what the delay is about right now, but I think we've got it straightened out and ready to go. I, I'm not sure pizza's not delivered yet, Harold. I, 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 I can't figure that one out. Somebody's slipping. I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand it either. Midway out to inbound. they trying to get right. it quickly inbound to number 25. Or tease, but the right. ball knocked out of bounds. Right there was a bounce pass. If she'd used that, a Larry Hayes bounce pass, that young lady would have got the ball and had an opportunity there. Ortiz from Vitoria, Spain. Quite sure I've never been there. Mm. Have you been to Vitoria, Spain? I have not. <laughs> <laughs> Walking. That's 
there in Hobart. It's a long way from Knox <laughs> County and Perry County. And I got a feeling you can't get there from here. <laughs> Give and go, Alice Lloyd in front court, stepping into a three and hitting it was Malkinson. That's her sixth point for that long Alice three. Alice Lloyd within nine. First time they've been single digits in a while, and there's a turnover cash. Back to Malkinson. And straight away, jumper no good. Put back up, no good. That looked like a lot of contact there. Yeah. That was minored, and now the run out the other way put up an amp. Looks like midway we'll go back here to 2-2-1 two, two, press and try to get a trap on the side here, possibly. Nice job by the Eagles to keep that from happening, keeping the ball out near middle. Thirteen seconds on the shot clock. First time it's been that deep in a while. Cash right side and another three. Good. <laughs> the young lady from Illinois, her all shoots the ball pretty well. Malkinson. She is back to back threes and she has pulled her team within eight. Back the other way, no good. Alice Lloyd can pull closer. Where's Malkinson at? Get her the ball. She's ready. Front court, she has it. Get it Cash to her. Take it. it to her and three. She'll take the three. Good. Three in a Shipping row. it out from Pippa Passes. She has brought her Malcolmson team Malcolmson is red hot. Three in a row. And now the foul is going to be on Cash. And Cash having a lot of trouble staying close to Miller. Seems like Cash is having her trouble when they get inside the paint. She's putting her body on them. She's got to help there. She Just get her arms up. She's got to help. Bernard was there waiting as well. 69-64, tighten things, tightening up just a little bit. It is indeed. And I think uh, what has brought the Eagles back, hitting those, some of those big shots, but they have been limiting Midway to just one down here the last four trips. Miller from Houston, Texas at the line. Put it up and in. Texas A&M University, Texarkana, Texas. Hmm. Six point on the way, and it's good. She will get a break as Be Jackson interested to see, to, ask, to, to talk to some of these girls and ask them how they heard of Midway College. <laughs> it would be nice. It would be. 71-64, Alice Lloyd within seven, two and a half to go, third. Cash. Long three by Cash, no good. Malcolmson goes in to tie up White on the rebound, but the ball will belong to Midway. Uh, Boy, it's beautiful country down there in Midway. It yeah, farms it. Farm country. Oh, yeah. horse country everywhere. They've got horses down there worth a million dollars. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Seventy-one sixty-four. <laughs> Don't think there's one in East in Knock County worth that much, but then who knows? I may be wrong. <laughs> so, okay. White drove the baseline and did a good job and put her body right into a defender of the Eagles. Our, our, our good friend Greg, my brother and yeah. your good friend, his wife has a horse that uh, she wouldn't take a million dollars for. You're kidding. No, but I doubt that it would be bring that much on the market. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to brag on the horse. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh. I, remember, I can re remember when Greg bought, bought it at the sale. It was just a small coat. I believe she calls him Charlie. White, one out of two, and gets the lead back to eight. 72-64. Our scoreboard working just a little slow. ARH, our sponsor. Maybe our scoreboard man's asleep, Earl. Who knows? There he goes. There's the ball knocked down. <laughs> and the foul's going to be on White. And White has picked up yet another one. And Coach says, you know, you're 80, 75 feet from the basket. Come on. foul number three on White. 
Yeah, it's hard to take those fouls 70 feet from the basket, isn't it? Yeah, you don't want that. And the coach not happy with his player over that, and you can't blame him. At the line, shot good. Hallie May from Johnson May. Central High School. She's had a good career at Al Sloyd. Uh, nice young lady. Plays hard. Second one is good. 72-66. The lead's at six. Inside two minutes, quarter number three. White working on Allie May. Takes her into the paint and kicks it out, and Jackson's three's no good. No one blocking out, put up an in, and the foul is going to be on Alice Lloyd. I didn't see a whole lot of contact. Callahan with a stick back from Moorhead. Round County High School in Moorhead. Allison Callahan, a 5'11 senior. She'll go to the line for the N1. Seventy-four, sixty-six. Alice Lord just can't seem to get over the hump. Can he shot that second bit? shot has got them in trouble most of the night. That rebound and put back. Jackson, little man to man, mano to mano, pressure on Cash. And Hall takes it to the basket, and that's a oh they've called an offensive foul. I don't know if I agree with that. I. Didn't worth see where the young lady was set up at, but I thought she didn't get there until she had left the yeah. floor. I I don't necessarily agree with that, but they was a lot closer than we were. Seventy five sixty six nine point lead. Alice Lloyd has cut it as close as five here in the third quarter, and a three is no good. And once again, the ball is rebounded by White and knocked out of bounds, and Midway will control 116 to go. Got to put your body there to block that out, and I don't know why they're talking. Uh, it was clearly out on the foot. One rip the same kick ball. Yep. I, don't, I, I didn't see no kick ball. I, I seen the ball just land on her foot and roll out. Well, I can guarantee you that the coach for Midway yeah. is not a little bit happy with that, and I don't know that I'm blaming Chris yeah, Miner. I didn't, that was no kick ball. If it was, it was very weak. <laughs> well, I don't guess it matters how hard you kick it. I mean, it laid on her foot. I mean, <laughs> That's a turnover. White in front court. Hall going in the crowd and lost and that one. Everybody backs off. White just goes to the basket and get fouled, and uh, she's going to go to the line. Now it's Lloyd's defense non existent there. No. White making that cut and drawing the foul. Good Interesting. Free throw uh, I, I can't wait to talk to Coach B.B. King and see his. Uh, He's been around a long time, and he knows uh, knows basketball, pretty good basketball coach. And I get anxious to hear his evaluation about the upcoming season. I think he would tell you Wolf and Breathitt are, are, are pretty good ball clubs. Uh, c can he have a shot against them? I, well, yeah, he can have a shot against them, uh, you know. It's just like uh, I'm not doing Coach Honeycutt like you did him. I'm going to say the Cougars are tough, and I'm going to say Owsley's tough, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> Down underneath, clipped and put it on the floor, and they say she walked. And Earl, the turnover will give it back to Alice uh, to Midway. A strong physical move right there will get you two points. She was timid. When she caught the basketball. 77-66, lead back up to 11 now. And once again, Alice Lloyd in a man-to-man, -man, but they're having an awful lot of trouble guarding this team. And what did they call uh, the a foul, foul on away, Alice Lloyd? And they give it to Clifton, and I, just the arm up on the body, I mean. Shot no good. Clifton maybe, picks up her first. Maybe they've changed some kind of rule or something about the contact away from the ball. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's these new referee uniforms. Uh, yeah, it could be. Things. It could be missing Shot no two. good. Al Sloyd with plenty Alice of time. Al Sloyd here. with plenty of time. You're right. In front court, long three. Mm. May, no good. Rebound. Cash runs it down in the corner. 
And now underneath Clifton. Good. Nice pass by Hall. Put it away from the defense right where she could catch it and put it in. Last look of the quarter coming up for the Midway Eagle. Jackson front court. Jackson taking it 101 on cash and lost the control. Clifton came up with it. Horn sounds. We have come to the end of three. In the score, 78-68, Midway over Alice Lloyd. Fourth quarter just ahead. You're watching Hometown 24. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. <laughs> I believe in getting your hands dirty. I believe the best recipes are never written down. I believe in fried chicken, cornbread, and soup beans. I believe in the cards. I believe in cats. I believe in insurance coverage that helps you sleep at night. I believe in always carrying an umbrella. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Contact Derek Bowling, your Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in Hazard. Fourth. Welcome back to the Prairie Center and... Uh, the fans at the game is enjoying the game, and uh, no doubt they have seen a good. Do you know the guy third one uh, from the uh, well, the center guy, Harold? Do you know that guy? Do you recognize? I recognize him? that big scoundrel. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Josh McGuire. He red shirting at Alice Lloyd this year, and so he's uh, sitting here taking in, uh, getting ready to take in the boys' game. And uh, is that Mr. Hospice beside of him? I think so. Yeah. And is that Kent Dameron down here? Is that him? I think so. So you got a lot of uh, KCC players. Yeah. And they, uh, by the way, speaking of KCC players, we would be remiss if we did not say congratulations to Kobe. Kobe Napier oh, playing yeah. outstanding basketball in Transylvania. I watched him the other night, and uh, he, uh, I mean, he had just lighting it up at Transylvania. Seemed, and seemed like the boy just can shoot it from the center line on in, Harold. Well, you I'm, know, I'm it, the, you. the goal is 10 feet above the, the court uh, wherever you. you're at. I and, think uh, he's got a magnet he, in his He is having something. a big year, and, and kudos to him. Starting as a freshman at Transylvania. He sure can shoot the basketball. I saw him play against uh, Moorhead. Down underneath, put up an in by Hall. Yeah, nice move by Hall. She's got 14. He opened the game with a three-pointer against Moorhead. He, he, uh, yeah. He, he played he well. He was the leading scorer. There's a long three, no good. And once again, White's there to clean up the mess. That Correction, that was not white. That was number 12, McCullough. Second shot has been one of the things that hurt the Lady Eagles tonight. The oh, second kicked shot. out of bounds by white. If you notice on the floor right now, Midway's team, look at the size. Did did I read the text that you showed me from Jeff Honeycutt that said he would rank them fourth? Did I, did well, I see I, that? Well, you know, I'm going to go on his statement. I mean, the man has been around ball a and long I'm time, gonna, I'm going to say – I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. He I'm knows what he's him doing. I'm no benefit of the doubt. He is a smart man, a great basketball coach. <laughs> well, and I'm who just is he you. kidding when he says his team – Honey cat don't forward. kid. If you know him, he don't kid. He, he kid. is pure he, facts. Well, it's either he's kidding or he's insulting our intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> Coach Honeycutt, I did all I could do, buddy. Uh, I, I mean, I can understand him. <laughs> but for nice us, steal. I don't think nice so. Nice steal and a good job by Hall to go into the body, going to go to line for two. And Alice Lloyd down, down by seven can – yeah, draw even Cut closer. Into the lead. And I, I, I love Jeff, but he's insulted my I, Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, he's been around a long time, and he's watched all these teams. He says he and thinks he it's... knows we're smarter than that. Well, I... <laughs> or at least I know I'm smarter Jeff, than I've that. I've done now, my best to cut you some slack, man. I did all David, I could David, you may not be smarter than that. <laughs> But I am smarter than that. I'm just trying to take up, give him a little slack. 79-73. At the line shot is good. And nice 79-74. Touch. 
And, and Bernard? Hey, man, he more? went out and he's played, playing a tough schedule. He's going to lose some games. Granted, I, I'll be the first one to admit that. He has toughened up his schedule, and I – I think that he that that's great. I think he ought to take these kids down, let them play in the down in the state. Some, yeah. I think that's awesome. It's probably going to cost his win loss record to suffer a little bit, but uh, nice touch by hey, Cash, eight feet the out. Of the, game. the bucket. Cuts Seventy-nine, the seventy-six. We've got a ball game with eight minutes to go. Cash, nice hedge out on that defensive pick and roll. There's a long three tally, no good. And suddenly, Midway's long-range bombs well, are not falling. Yeah, and here's another thing. Their pressure on defense, uh, they backed off the last couple of trips. Uh, they need to get back to that man defense up here pressure. Full timeout by Midway. We got a game brewing, 79-76. Don't you dare go away. Welcome back as <laughs> uh, we have a good one brewing at the Perry Center here at Alice Lloyd College, 79-76. Midway has led by as many as 16. Alice Lloyd has not seen the lead since early in the first quarter, and they've closed to within three, 79-76. Uh, well, we at least got Jeff's attention, didn't we? Oh, he knows. He, <laughs> Jeff knows now. He's, uh, but you know, he's. It's going to make him ready. What it is, uh, you know, him and Keith Baker. I can't wait that, to see. Him. Got in that <laughs> ball game uh, last year, the finals of the region. Those two guys didn't want to go home. I think the game started at uh, seven. We got out of there at one or two o'clock in the morning. I don't know how many overtimes. Four, five, four. maybe. <laughs> I believe it was four. So those guys, when Alice they get Lloyd together, they Hall. like to play. No good. Tipped up and in by Clifton. That's a 78, big tilt. 79. Big tilt in this ball game. 79-78, midway by one. 7.25 to go in Pippa Pass. Here goes Jackson. Shot lost it out of bounds. That'll go to the yeah, last point. I think that was uh, good. I thought she just lost the basketball. Yeah, Clifton came over, and what are we doing? I think they think that somebody got a hand on it, and, and evidently – they have Clifton. talked to young man she into changing his mind. Yeah. And uh, Coach Mills, I'm sure, is not happy. I thought uh, Clifton done a great job coming over there, cutting off the lane, and she turned it over. Jackson on the move down the lane, kick it out. Three on the way, no good. Boy, Alice Boyd did not tough. get a rebound. Shot put up an end by White. Yeah, she's tough there. She <laughs> elevates well. And very quick, and White what? has got a foul over the back of Cash. And that's her fourth. Foul number four on Desiree White. Harold, I, I was thinking he's bound to have to take her out here, but he may not. I mean. Well, uh, it's 6.57 to yeah, go. Yeah, I mean, you could get I believe her I would take her out. Yeah, huh? I do too. For a couple minutes, you know. Yeah, keep her from uh, getting one of those frustration fouls. There's a kick out, and Cash pulls up 15. Good. Rattle it off the yeah, glass, nice and jumper. it's 81 80. Nice touch by Cash. Lee County High School. Jackson tried to go inside the white there, but goes on to the wing. And the shot put up and in, and Alice Lloyd Fowles is going to be on Thompson, Goldie, number 14. Goldie has 11 in the game, Harold, and I tell you, she's done it by driving, and she likes to drive, use that left hand, go up off the glass. they got to cut her off and make her change directions there. Shot is good. Three-point play by Goldie. That's a big play in the game right now. 84-80. Front court, Hall almost lost it. 
Cash looking around. She's going to make her move right here and get the layup. Cash, Cash takes it to the glass and lays it in. Alice Lloyd needing a big defense play here now. Need to stop, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. Jackson backing Cash down. Now the three out of the corner, no good. Rebound. Absolutely, Alice Lloyd has been killed on the boards. Here goes White. Has her shot blocked, taken down, put up, and in. Three opportunities there, David. Yeah. And Alice Lloyd it, cannot win this game until they yeah, start rebounding the basketball. That's been the difference. That second and third shot has been the difference of the ball game tonight. Hyman Promart and one coming up. Good folks down at Hyman Promart. Stop by and give them a look. Shot no good. Rebound down. Midway leading by four. Quickly front court. Malcolmson back into the lineup for Alice Lloyd. She had three now. Lost the ball. Headed the other way. White lays yep. it up no good. Foul's going to be on Hall. Bernard. Soft with the basketball, and she give it up. And Hall had to hustle back and waste one of her fouls. But That's uh, three on Haley Hall. Yeah. Going to the line, White, and she has been an eagle killer tonight. Yeah, she has indeed. Seventeen point put up right there. She's a nice player. Her on number eighteen coming up. I, I like the way she shares the ball with her teammates, now, too. Now, if they go up by six, I think I'm getting around there. And uh, Coach Miner knows better than me. He <laughs> leaves her in. 88-82, quickly front court, and we got a foul. Yeah. And I'm, that's going to be on tally number 11. You know, will Coach Mills get the basketball in and clear out and whoever White's got? Get I don't know basketball. that Alice Lloyd has anybody. They're going to go zone and protect her right here a little bit. I, I don't know that Alice Lloyd is, has anybody quick enough to beat her off the dribble. Malcolmson shot no good. Ball on the floor. Jump ball. Yes, and it will go to Alice Lloyd. Mid. Evidently no, midway. I, I thought it would be Alice Lloyd. Who got the ball there to start, her? Huh? John's Aston right now. He thought he should have the basketball. Well, he's going down to ask the yeah. referee, but. Yeah. They're not going to change their mind. It's going to be midway basketball up six, five minutes to go. Looks like Clifton will get up, get ready to come back in for Al Floyd. Alice Lloyd, they've gotten close, pull within one, but boy, their offensive rebounding uh, midway has been something. Yep. Foul going to be on Malcolmson. Yep. A lot of harm there. You're going to get caught. Tally for that. will go to the line. Yep. Tally from Frankfurt. Following this game, uh, we'll have the Franklin men's game. County High School. That'd be coming up here about 30 minutes after this game. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Did you uh, yeah, have a good, good Thanksgiving? You. Did Carl fix you a pretty big meal? No. Well, okay. I was uh, in Alabama at uh, relatives. Oh, okay. Did they, they fix it? Yes. Okay. Because right. I didn't think you would stay anywhere unless they was good food. No, I, I was, wouldn't be around long. Cash, no, you're right. There's throwing the ball turnover. at the feet. Uh, not a good move by her that time. She's played a good ball game second half, but that was not a good move there. Such a tough climb to get back in this game by the Eagles. And now Midway starting to stretch it out again. Shot no good. Good defense there. Key trip for the Eagles right here. They need to score and come right back and get a turnover. And, and Walken called on Cash. Drug that pivot foot and Allie May back into the lineup for Alice Lloyd. Leaving Malcolmson. Michelson has had a good game. Hit some big threes to get them there. 
a stretch going here. Here comes Thompson up off the bench, and she'll be going in. She's had a good game. Yeah, she shot it well from up top. and uh, Tally shot no good, rebound down. Coach did not want that That's shot. That's a that little quick, quick wouldn't it? Yep, it was. He's got a good point there. Cash needs help. Cash picks that dribble up, and they cover her up. And yeah. she got to keep that dribble alive. Yeah. And right now, the pressure of Midway really giving out some yeah, problems. They're, they're making them spread. They've raised their zone up now. That's how you attack it. But Five seconds on the shot Cash. clock, and Cash is blocked. Yeah, Cash should have bounced that into Big Clifton after she made her turn. She'd have had an opportunity there. White's going to bring it down look it over. Lobbed it underneath, put up an in. Callahan, 11 for her on the night. And back to a 10-point lead for Midway. Yeah, Coach Mills has got to talk this over. Back down, double figures, her only had it with one. He closed within one on two occasions, but it is a Midway that has stretched it back out by 10. We'll be back. We'll take a break. Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. A place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between. We're committed to serving you with the latest technology. Whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. <laughs> Ninety-two, eighty-two, three oh eight to go. Alice Lloyd made a run, cut it within one a couple of times, but could not get over the top. And David now looking at a ten-point deficit, and uh, I don't know uh, that they have enough uh, defensive pressure to uh, put a, enough quickness to put defensive pressure on Midway to get back in. The yeah, side. well, that's true. Uh, because Midway does have that speed and they move the ball off well. And another thing they do well is shoot free throws. So, uh, you know, the Eagles are going to have to hit some buckets here and go down and play solid D and just try to limit them to one shot and rebound the basketball and bring it back. Cash out to Hall. They've shut her off pretty good. She goes underneath and put it up no good. Yeah. Got fouled, and this one, I believe, is on uh, Goldie. Goldie. Hall at the line. They need these now, David. Yes, they do. They've got to have them as Hall hits the first one. Hall, 19 on the night. But I, I'll be honest with you, Harold, it's not one of her better games. No. I. Uh, we've seen her play – for several years, and, yeah. and uh, this is not uh, this is not a classic. In, no, in she she's her. missed a lot of shots she normally hits, uh, you know. See, I think you'll see them patient midway to when they get that shot clock. And a lot eight. of pick and roll right yeah. here, and a straightaway three, no good. White put it back up, no good. She'll bring it back out, and they'll run a little more clock. Yeah. Alice Lloyd has been absolutely annihilated on the board. Yeah, that second, third shot tonight will be something Coach Mills talks to his team about and say, hey, here's – we didn't get beat on the first shot. We got beat on the second and third shot. Hall picks up the foul. That is her fourth. And White goes to the line. 2.14 to go. Can give Midway their double-digit lead again. I notice Maggart has not played tonight. I'm injured, I'm sure. And I'm sure she'll be glad when she gets to come back from out of Whitesburg, out of Letcher Central High. First shot is no good. Second shot is good by White. And the lead's at nine. 
White, five for seven at the line today. Thompson, cross court, Hall, three, no. Boy, she had good luck. one all night. Yep. Underneath, Clifton, good and one. Nice play there. Looks like Callahan will get the foul. Number, well, looks like they're going to give a foul to Goldie, Harold. 45. I didn't. I thought Callahan more arm than her. Coach Mills is going to try to stretch this game out. Shot nice good. touch by Clifton. And they're down by six. Clifton, nine points for her. She will come over and uh, get a break. Put some uh, quicker people in for defense. White just drives by everybody. Missed the shot, but she'll go to the line. And Allie May just simply could not guard White. No, a teammate needed to scoot over Thompson there, possibly just cut her off and get her arms up and uh, would help. But uh, everybody stayed exactly on their man and nobody was helping out. Clifton comes back. Thompson will leave. Perry Center on campus. White hits the first one. Nice place to play college basketball. No question about it. Second one in the air, bounces out, no good, and it should be the Eagles' ball as Hall. Nice block out there. Opportunity. Cash will bring it down, and minute 45, Harrell, they've got to try to get them a quick shot and get back on D here and try to get a turnover or a steal. Hall. Into the corner, and what do we got? A foul. That drives the coach wild when Jackson puts her arm up, and looks like Hall will go to the line. Looks like the rate latest uh, football rankings are out. Georgia. Okay. Michigan. Yeah. Alabama Cincinnati. and Cincinnati. Okay. I, did Kentucky get back in the top 25? Yes, I, they did. Where are they at? I don't know. <laughs> I, I fear, 25. You, you keep up with that all the time now. They came back in at 25. Yes. <laughs> Shot good. You know, that game kind of kind of surprised In me. fact, they got back into the top 25 in the uh, in the uh, playoff rankings as well. Oh, okay. But did the game at Louisville surprise you any? No. You, I, you thought they'd win, but you thought it'd be I a little. I thought that I'm – Kentucky came in 23rd in the football rankings uh, t just out tonight. There's a turnover. That's what they need. Oh, yes. Hall lays it in. 94-91, minute 20 to go. Uh, no, I thought Kentucky would uh, – would. Uh, I thought Kentucky would beat Louisville handedly, and they did. And the only reason for saying that is a – Pretty good SEC team playing a middle of the road ACC team yeah. in football. Usually, you see what happens. Yeah. At the line will be Jackson. And boy, they need it now. Down by three after a little run here by the Eagles. Shot is good. They've shot free throws well tonight. Jackson has 11 points. She'll shoot for number 12. Handled the ball well and set her team up well tonight as well. And a full timeout by Midway, 96-91, 114 to go, and we'll be back. At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available, whether that be through expansion of our fiber-to-the-home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. 
It's our home too. Being in an accident can leave you feeling vulnerable and lost. You need a lawyer who will fight for you and be there by your side the entire way. What I believe is that with trust and collaboration, we can get you the justice that you deserve. Go to kyleshall.com right now to schedule a free consultation. I will review the details of your case and get you back on your feet. Don't navigate the legal system alone. Get me in your corner right now. 96 91 114 to go in the fourth quarter midway up on top by five has led really they have led really uh, from midway the first quarter and and uh, yeah they've by as many as 16 it yeah point. they've shot it well but i i give al Sloyd a lot of credit getting back into this thing they well. throw it long and the shot put up by Malcolmson is no good, but she'll go to the line. Yeah, good free throw shooter, no doubt. She's been shooting the ball extremely well. And Midway did the thing you do not want to do is let a man, uh, let your man catch the ball on a long throw like that. Well, yeah, they let him get behind her. Yeah. Shot is good. Clifton back out of the lineup. She'll be going in when Alice Lloyd gets the ball back. But defensively, they got somebody else. They shot no good. Needed that. 96, 92. Jackson, and they will back it out at a minute to go. Tally to White. And we got to jump out. And this time, the Eagles should get it and will as Clifton will come back. That's a big turnover by Midway. Not even an opportunity to shoot that time. So if the Eagles can get a bucket here and put the heat back on, it will give them the opportunity. Yeah, with 48 seconds, they can uh, they need to, play two for one right yeah, here. Yes, they can. We got timeout on the floor, 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here, 96-92. Alice Lloyd down by four midway with the lead. And coming up next, the boys' game between Alice Lloyd and midway. Coach got Corny team unbeaten on the year. Right. Playing and well. looking to extend yeah. the season opening win streak to nine games. You know, Midway, uh, since they've started men's basketball, Harold, they've had a pretty decent ball club. So, look for a tough game tonight here at the Prairie Center. No question. 96-92, here comes uh, Midway out on the court, and Alice Lloyd will have the basketball chance to get two for one here. Lob it low to Clifton. She put it up and in. Nice move by Miss Clifton. And she's got 12. And uh, what's the call? Why did they stop the clock to let a substitution in? Do you stop the clock on the mid make Well, basket? under a minute you stop it. Well, but it, you well don't it's let under a, a minute. Yeah, you don't let a sub in, though, unless, you know. Well, they did. 44 seconds to go, 96-94. That was a very good play call by Coach Mills as he got Clifton 101 down on the block, midway with nobody with a size to stop her. Don't have to foul here. And Walken called on tally. Coach wanted contact, but they was not much contact. I Tally, their balance. guilty of the walk, and Alice Lloyd with a three-point basket can take the lead. Absolutely. So, Coach Mills uh, may go back inside to Clifton here if that matchup still is lined up in that way down there. So, we will see as Cash gets ready with the basketball. Cash in front court. 
Clifton to Hall. Hall down the lane. Leave it off. Clifton. You and know, she dropped it out of bounds. You know, I thought the pass was good. I, I don't know if Clifton strung with a basketball when she had an opportunity with it. Earl. She fumbled it out of bounds. And Alice Lloyd, their opportunity to tie or take the lead now by the boards as Midway yeah. will get it back. Timeout by Coach Miner, a 30-second timeout. And, David, uh, I thought boy, the matchup uh, was there for just Clifton. A, just you a know. big, 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 big turnover there. Yeah, it was. You know, the matchup was there for Clifton to receive the basketball and go ahead and do what she's been doing here of late, going up strong and putting it in. And uh, just got to be strong with the ball. Ellis Lloyd comes out with Malcolmson, Thompson, Allie May, Cash, a and Hall. Quick line, uh, one the, of the quicker the, lineups. The, as yeah. quick as they can be. Yeah. They get it inbound to Tally. Well, yeah, and they've a got foul a foul. going to be on yeah. Allie May. And we'll send uh, White to the line. Last two trips, she's been one out of two each trip. So uh, you're hoping if you're the Eagles that maybe she only does that again, her, if, if she does hit one. If she hits them both, it's going to be another uh, two-possession game. White wastes a little time, drills it. On the head, 21 for her, and... This is the big one right here. Yeah. 20 seconds. Boy, when she gets ready to pull the trigger, she don't waste any time. Good again. And Coach Alice Mills. Lloyd will call timeout so they can advance move. Yeah. the ball, the ball. and we'll take a break as well. 98-94, 20 seconds to go. We'll be back. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. 98-94, Alice Lloyd missed their opportunity to tie this game when they turned it over, and White made them pay with a couple of free throws, and now yeah. it's a two-possession game. And Well, Mills right. called timeout to advance the ball. Yeah, he'll set his play up and try to get a quick shot, I'm sure, and then, then they'll set up and try to get a steal or a quick foul to pressure. White is one in Jackson. You don't want to foul them. They went, they've been good at the line tonight, very good. So, you know, you want to see if somebody else will have that opportunity with the pressure on them. Nice crowd at Pippa Pass tonight. Yes, it is. See uh, Mr. Stelp in the audience over there. He's in and a lot of the student body on both sides. Big crowd on both sides. Can't the waste time. And a ball stolen. White will dribble it out 14 seconds. And Allie. she will be fouled. And I'm not so sure I wouldn't have went ahead and laid that one in. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's what Coach is talking about right now. She should have went ahead and laid it in. Because you've got a four-point lead. And you get that and make it six. It's still two possession. And. And it's only going to be two possession if she makes it, Harold. Well, now she's going to have to make two free That's throws. That's right. And the first one is good. Yeah. Boy, White is a nice player. 23, and uh, she, she would, uh, without question, our player, player of, of the, the game. game. Yep, no question Desiree about that. Desiree White, you're looking at her right there, number 15. Good again. She's made four straight to put this one out of reach, and once again... They will call timeout to advance the ball. 194. This uh, I thought this both, rule uh, borrowed from the pro game. I, I, 
and uh, yes, and looking back on this game, I thought both teams had good moments in the game, played hard. Al Sloyd was down, you know, uh, 16 at one time. Yes. And fit back to within one, and uh, I, I thought they finished strong, and I thought Midway is a team that in the Mid-South may win a few games, Harold Mullins. I guarantee you they will. They'll run the record to 7-4 and four with a win here, and uh, Alice Lloyd will drop to 5-4. and four. But uh, it is not a conference game, so really, yeah. really it doesn't uh, Yeah, I mean, you, buy, you need these games. Me. You need some good ball games to get your team uh, where they need to be. No question about it. And in the conference, uh, Coach Mills is going to run a, run up against yeah, quick yeah. teams. And, yeah. and uh, you know. IU Southeast usually has a quick team. Indiana. Uh, Kokomo, Kokomo. Of course, they've already played those two yeah. teams on the road. Uh, Indiana the East, usually a, a nice, quick team. Uh, but uh, it's always good to. Good competition. Asbury normally has a good, quick team. Asbury loves to shoot the three, don't they? Yes, they do. And coming over here, we got some problem with the clock again. Is that what? So they readjust the clock, get it inbounds, and Alice Floyd down by six. Cash. Got to shoot in a hurry, and Hall shot no good. Tipped yeah. around and taken. Yeah, and the clock will run out, and Midway will come to the Prairie Center and lay a whipping on Alice Lloyd, 100 to 94. Desiree White, our Alice Lloyd College Player of the Game. Congratulations to her. Final score, 100 to 94. Closing thoughts. I thought the second shot tonight uh, hurt Alice Lloyd. I you know, Midway went to the board after the missed shot, the first shot, second shot, third shot. Uh, Harold, that's something Coach Mills can uh, let the kids watch tape and try to improve on their block outs. And, uh, but this team got a lot of points off that second shot tonight. Yes, they did. 194. We'll be back in a little bit as the boys game, uh, Alice Lloyd and Midway will come up in about 30 minutes from now. We'll join you for that one as well. Until then, sit back, get your bologna sandwich and a glass of Kool-Aid. <laughs> We're going to. Absolutely. We'll be right back. <laughs> For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. Since 1954, Heinemann Funeral Services has been part of this community. When your family needs someone who cares, Danny Terry and his staff are here to help. During your family's time of need, they are a helping hand through every step of the process, from services to monument and to your loved one's final resting place. Celebrating over 50 years proud service to the community, Heinemann Funeral Services. Appalachian Wireless and Samsung introduce the smartphone that everyone is flipping over, the Z Flip 3. Looking for something that stands out in the crowd amongst regular smartphones? Then the Z Flip 3 is the device for you. On the region's best service, Appalachian Wireless, the Z Flip 3 is an actual flip phone that, when opened, reveals a stunning 6.7-inch touchscreen for the best of both worlds. It's compact, powerful, and the most unique smartphone in the world. Get more information at AppalachianWireless.com. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. <laughs> I believe in getting your hands dirty. I believe the best recipes are never written down. I believe in fried chicken, cornbread, and soup beans. I believe in the cards. I believe in cats. I believe in insurance coverage that helps you sleep at night. I believe in always carrying an umbrella. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Contact Derek Bowling, your Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in Hazard.
Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. A place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between. We're committed to serving you with the latest technology. Whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available. Whether that be through expansion of our fiber to the home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. It's our home too. Being in an accident can leave you feeling vulnerable and lost. You need a lawyer who will fight for you and be there by your side the entire way. What I believe is that with trust and collaboration, we can get you the justice that you deserve. Go to KyleSHall.com right now to schedule a free consultation. I will review the details of your case and get you back on your feet. Don't navigate the legal system alone. Get me in your corner right now. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at TimShortAutoGroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. Since 1954, Heinemann Funeral Services has been part of this community. When your family needs someone who cares, Danny Terry and his staff are here to help. During your family's time of need, they are a helping hand through every step of the process, from services to monument and to your loved one's final resting place. Celebrating over 50 years proud service to the community, Heinemann Funeral Services. Appalachian Wireless and Samsung introduced the smartphone that everyone is flipping over, the Z Flip 3. Looking for something that stands out in the crowd amongst regular smartphones? Then the Z Flip 3 is the device for you. On the region's best service, Appalachian Wireless, the Z Flip 3 is an actual flip phone that, when opened, reveals a stunning 6.7-inch touchscreen for the best of both worlds. It's compact, powerful, and the most unique smartphone in the world. Get more information at AppalachianWireless.com. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. <laughs> I believe in getting your hands dirty. I believe the best recipes are never written down. I believe in fried chicken, cornbread, and soup beans. I believe in the cards. I believe in cats. I believe in insurance coverage that helps you sleep at night. I believe in always carrying an umbrella. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Contact Derek Bowling, your Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in Hazard.
Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. A place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between. We're committed to serving you with the latest technology. Whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available. Whether that be through expansion of our fiber to the home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. It's our home too. Being in an accident can leave you feeling vulnerable and lost. You need a lawyer who will fight for you and be there by your side the entire way. What I believe is that with trust and collaboration, we can get you the justice that you deserve. Go to KyleSHall.com right now to schedule a free consultation. I will review the details of your case and get you back on your feet. Don't navigate the legal system alone. Get me in your corner right now. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. Since 1954, Heinemann Funeral Services has been part of this community. When your family needs someone who cares, Danny Terry and his staff are here to help. During your family's time of need, they are a helping hand through every step of the process, from services to monument and to your loved one's final resting place. Celebrating over 50 years proud service to the community, Heinemann Funeral Services. Appalachian Wireless and Samsung introduced a smartphone that everyone is flipping over. The Z Flip 3. Looking for something that stands out in the crowd amongst regular smartphones? Then the Z Flip 3 is the device for you. On the region's best service, Appalachian Wireless. The Z Flip 3 is an actual flip phone that, when opened, reveals a stunning 6.7-inch touchscreen for the best of both worlds. It's compact, powerful, and the most unique smartphone in the world. Get more information at AppalachianWireless.com. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. <laughs> I believe in getting your hands dirty. I believe the best recipes are never written down. I believe in fried chicken, cornbread, and soup beans. I believe in the cards. I believe in cats. I believe in insurance coverage that helps you sleep at night. I believe in always carrying an umbrella. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Contact Derek Bowling, your Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in Hazard.
Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. A place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between. We're committed to serving you with the latest technology. Whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available. Whether that be through expansion of our fiber to the home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. It's our home too. Being in an accident can leave you feeling vulnerable and lost. You need a lawyer who will fight for you and be there by your side the entire way. What I believe is that with trust and collaboration, we can get you the justice that you deserve. Go to KyleSHall.com right now to schedule a free consultation. I will review the details of your case and get you back on your feet. Don't navigate the legal system alone. Get me in your corner right now. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. Since 1954, Heinemann Funeral Services has been part of this community. When your family needs someone who cares, Danny Terry and his staff are here to help. During your family's time of need, they are a helping hand through every step of the process, from services to monument and to your loved one's final resting place. Celebrating over 50 years proud service to the community, Heinemann Funeral Services. Appalachian Wireless and Samsung introduced a smartphone that everyone is flipping over. The Z Flip 3. Looking for something that stands out in the crowd amongst regular smartphones? Then the Z Flip 3 is the device for you. On the region's best service, Appalachian Wireless. The Z Flip 3 is an actual flip phone that, when opened, reveals a stunning 6.7-inch touchscreen for the best of both worlds. It's compact, powerful, and the most unique smartphone in the world. Get more information at AppalachianWireless.com. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. <laughs> I believe in getting your hands dirty. I believe the best recipes are never written down. I believe in fried chicken, cornbread, and soup beans. I believe in the cards. I believe in cats. I believe in insurance coverage that helps you sleep at night. I believe in always carrying an umbrella. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Contact Derek Bowling, your Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in Hazard. Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. 
home where we live and work. A place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between, we're committed to serving you with the latest technology. Whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available. Whether that be through expansion of our fiber to the home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. It's our home too. Being in an accident can leave you feeling vulnerable and lost. You need a lawyer who will fight for you and be there by your side the entire way. What I believe is that with trust and collaboration, we can get you the justice that you deserve. Go to KyleSHall.com right now to schedule a free consultation. I'll review the details of your case and get you back on your feet. Don't navigate the legal system alone. Get me in your corner right now. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. Since 1954, Heinemann Funeral Services has been part of this community. When your family needs someone who cares, Danny Terry and his staff are here to help. During your family's time of need, they are a helping hand through every step of the process, from services to monument and to your loved one's final resting place. Celebrating over 50 years proud service to the community, Heinemann Funeral Services. Appalachian Wireless and Samsung introduced a smartphone that everyone is flipping over. The Z Flip 3. Looking for something that stands out in the crowd amongst regular smartphones? Then the Z Flip 3 is the device for you. On the region's best service, Appalachian Wireless. The Z Flip 3 is an actual flip phone that, when opened, reveals a stunning 6.7-inch touchscreen for the best of both worlds. It's compact, powerful, and the most unique smartphone in the world. Get more information at AppalachianWireless.com. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. <laughs> I believe in getting your hands dirty. I believe the best recipes are never written down. I believe in fried chicken, cornbread, and soup beans. I believe in the cards. I believe in cats. I believe in insurance coverage that helps you sleep at night. I believe in always carrying an umbrella. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Contact Derek Bowling, your Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in Hazard. Welcome back to the Prairie Center here on the campus of Alice Lloyd College as we have put the girls game to bed and now it is men's basketball action here on Hometown 24. I'm Harold Mullins along with David Adams and Alice Lloyd entertains Midway from down Frankfurt Way in boys basketball. Alice Lloyd coming in here perfect on the season 8-0. 
2-0 and in the conference, while Midway comes in at 6-2. and And, David, if the girls' game was any indication, the boys' game should be a shootout. Yeah, absolutely. Al Sloyd, a veteran team, so is Midway. They have a lot of leadership on the team. Al Sloyd, only one senior young, and uh, Alice Lloyd will bring all these kids back next year, but young and uh, off to a good record. And by the way, Scott Cornett, the coach over at Alice Lloyd, has added some games to his schedule that I think could really help him down the road. He's going to play Moorhead State, he's going to play Eastern, and he's going to play Northern Kentucky. And, and Harold, that's no easy task, but uh, it will be an opportunity for his kids to uh, go down and uh, play against the big boys, you might say. Yeah, they'll play in uh, uh, a little bit bigger atmosphere than what they are uh, accustomed yes. to, wouldn't you say? I would think so, yes. But so. Scott has his team playing very, very well. They went on the road the first conference game of the year and they beat IU Southeast a team that Alice Lloyd has had precious little luck against right. down through the years, but they beat them on a last second shot by Philpott and uh, then uh, go up to IU Kokomo and just whip them on the road as well. So the 2-0 and start in the conference looks even better when you consider that both these wins have been on the road. Oh, absolutely. And you mentioned Philpott out of Winchester, Kentucky, played at Clark County High School under – Josh Cook, uh, a graduate of Alice Lloyd College. So uh, also on that roster, Harold, uh, Keith Lee, another player coming up from Clark County. And, uh, you know, uh, is Josh Cook sending uh, Scott Cornett some of these uh, Clark County boys? I'm he, sure he yeah, is. Yeah, you know, he I is. mean, they uh, yeah known each other uh, since way back when. and Yeah. And uh, Josh. Uh, Josh, who would know better than Josh yeah. that whether or not these team, these guys could compete. And, yeah. Uh, so yeah. he sends them up to Coach Cornett, and Coach Cornett's yeah, record yeah. dictates uh, that they're off to a good start. They know. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, uh, you mentioned that uh, Clark County top five program in the state right now, preseason rank. So, uh uh, good to see that going on. And uh, in Midway, uh, they're six and two. Pretty good. Uh, I would think so. Indication yeah. that they've got a pretty good team as well. Yeah, absolutely. Athletic, quick, strong physical team, and uh, it's going to be a uh, physical game in the paint. So you can bet. Uh, Sturgill will have to work hard there. Fill pot because, and you've got Tobler out of Perry Central, who. Uh, you know, you're going to have to use that strength when you go against some big guys. Alice Lloyd in Midway just ahead. Let's take a break. We'll come back, take a look at the starting lineups and more as we roll on from the Perry Center. Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. A place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between. We're committed to serving you with the latest technology. Whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. <laughs> We're back at the Perry Center where Alice Lloyd and Midway getting ready to do battle in boys basketball. Alice Lloyd trying to make it to the Christmas break unbeaten. Well, you know, you uh, you go to Christmas and how you get a record of 10, 11, 1, or, or 12, and 0, and you, you're off to a good start. Especially you get your first two conference games uh, and another one here. And uh, so uh, this could be huge as you keep winning, and you must take advantage of your own court when you're 
in the conference play. You must win that game. Yeah, you uh, you got to protect the home court. That's for sure. And uh, Alice Lloyd has gone on the road to get a couple of, of uh, wins on the road. And, and, boy, that is just very, very important when you head into conference play to, to go out and steal one or two on the road. Oh, absolutely. And uh, it's huge and big. No question about it, Harold. <clears throat> Looks like we have a lot of the student body has made their way into the Prairie Center to uh, get ready for this one. And uh, I, I think they're going to see some good college basketball tonight. By the way, Phil Pot was recruited. He's been over there. He played for Coach Hammond his first first year. Coach Hammond recruited him out of Clark County and uh, made a good choice for Alice Lloyd there. No question about it. And, you know, Alice Lloyd has got pretty good size for an NAIA school. They got, they got the big guy Sturgill in the middle from over Wise. Yeah. He's six foot ten. Phil Potts a big kid at 6'5". Tobler, we know what he can do. We've yeah. seen him play. So they are uh, uh, well equipped to make the run. Uh, they 8-0 uh, on the season, 2-0 in the conference. they shooting 48% from behind the three-point. Uh, 48 percent in field goals, 34 from behind the arc, and 68 from the free throw line. So a pretty good shooting team Scott has over there. Yeah, Bryce Sloan, another kid, got Knott County ties. His dad played for Knott Central. Uh, he's over there. He comes in. And he's been playing well too. And uh, uh, Bryce out of Danville, and uh, you know he's done a good job. Good three-point shooter. Got good speed and can defend. A little pregame uh, activity going on over at the Prairie Center. Let's take one more quick break, and we'll come back with a starting lineup. At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available, whether that be through expansion of our fiber-to-the-home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. It's our home, too. Welcome back to the Prairie Center right here on the campus of Alice Lloyd College. And Midway starters are now coming out, Hurl. And we'll get those. Uh, number zero. That is uh, Raycon Evans, a 6'4 senior from Louisville Valley High School. Donnie Miller, number two, out of Newport, Kentucky. He will be on the floor as well. And uh, Miller from Newport High School. Yeah. I would. Also, Ricardo Travis, number four, a 6'1 senior from Louisville, Beth Haven High School, private school there in Louisville. And we did not, uh, I did not get the other two. If we could put Alice Lloyd, uh, or correction, midways back up on the screen. But Alice Lloyd, uh, uh, Bryce Law, number five, We'll start at one guard. He's a 6'1 uh, junior from Danville. Noah Young, uh, five, a six-foot senior from Highlands, Kentucky. Phil Pot will start along with uh, Tobler and Sturgill. Phil Pot, 6'5 junior from Winchester. Tobler, a 6'4 sophomore from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Tobler, just a sophomore. And uh, Sturgill, Colin Sturgill, a 6'10 junior from Wise, Virginia, will round out the starting five for. Uh, and now Midway. Uh, Midway, looking. Evans, Miller, Travis, Tate, Tate, number 11, will start. And Rico Tate, a 6'1". Junior from Memphis, Tennessee, and 13, Garner. 
Corey, he is. Uh, Corey Gardner, you remember that young man. Yeah, he, didn't he play last year, Harold? He is a six-foot sophomore from Owensboro. He shot Not the, a big team by any stretch of the imagination. I think Gardner shot the lights out last year in Pippa Pass when we but watched them last time. Alice Lloyd, a much bigger team, and yes, they will they are. be uh, looking to pound it into the paint on the uh, Midway Eagles. I want to welcome all our viewers, Harold. Is your buddy Darren Mullins tuned in tonight? I don't Tim know if he's Short back from me. watching uh, Dave he'd, and Ann. He'd been, uh, uh, out, Creek. he'd been out uh, out in Seattle, Washington or somewhere. Oh, he's been traveling. He went out visiting his daughter. I think he went oh. out there for the holidays. Oh. And we have our black and white striped referees back. We do. I wonder what the deal in the... I don't know. Ah, we're going to have to find that out, what the deal on that is. Maybe uh, the women's conference uh, is referees different. is different. Yeah. Who knows? I remember one year when I first started refereeing, I got my license to call women's basketball at the collegiate level, and they wanted you to wear white sho shoes, look like Bob Hope. Tobler. Tobler to the uh, line, to the rack, and we're off and running. Nice use of the board. Alice Lloyd opens up straight man-to-man. -man. Nice move down the lane. Kick off. Alice Lloyd, good recovery defense there. Pull up, jump shot, no good. Back of the iron rebound, Phil Pot. Phil Pot always strong on the boards for the Eagles. He hit the big shot to beat IU Southeast. Here goes Tobler, pull up, foul line, no good. Had a good look. Tate drives on Tobler, now kicks it back, and the three ball is no good, and going up to get it is Tobler. Out of Purry Central High School. Tobler originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Phil Pot. We had to go to Tobler on the side, but decided to throw it back out front. Trying to go underneath that ball picked off. Poor Pice there into yeah. the glass and laying it up and in Sloan. was Evans. Sloan, not enough arch, not enough air on the ball there. Midway, all that quickness out there. A little half court pressure. Field pot back out to Young. Tobler wants three. No good. Good look. Shot Not a little sure strong. that's Tobler's yeah, shot. Yeah, Tobler's better in the paint. Not sure that's his shot. Coach Scott Corning. Saw a picture on Facebook, Scott, at the uh, at uh, his house at Thanksgiving. Looked like he had a good crowd there. Phil Pot trying to post up. Need to get him the basketball when he gets in that deep. He's got it now, and they poke it away. Yeah. Good play set up. Just uh, couldn't hang on to the basketball. Spinning jumper, no good. Rebound on the floor. Young has it. Young all the way. He played at Lincoln County High School. Yes, he did. Travis will I was down the by here. that place uh, this past week. I was in Danville. Field pot three, no good. Once again, Alice Lloyd getting all kinds of good looks. Yes, but I'm not they are. Exactly sure that those are the ones uh, Coach Cornett wants yeah. taking that shot. Travis with the drive. That was Travis. Evans drives in and looks over to the teammate and gets a good 15-footer, and it will not go. 2-2, two -two, we're tied, 17 to go. Neither first team time. shooting it particularly well. Sloan, step back, 3-0. No. They say his toe was on the line, give him a 2. And the scoreboard says 5-2, but I thought I saw the referee. Now the scoreboard says 4-2. They've recorrected it. thought I seen the referee point down and say that uh, he was on the line. Foul in there on number 34. 
Nick Keaton, 6'4", freshman from Paintsville. I noticed also on Scott's roster, he's got Frazier played over at uh, Cordia and Perry Central. Is that correct, Harold? Yeah, right. So oh, shot yeah. no good. Rebound tipped up, no good, and coming away with it midway. And a long three. In and out, no good. Knocked out of bounds. Touch last by Midway. Early in this game, kind of surprised. Neither team uh, really pressure, good pressure D. Uh, everybody's getting these long, wide open shots. Just nobody's hitting them right now. Sloan. Long three, Sloan, no good. Rebound, Phil Pot lost it out of bounds. Yep. Good effort by Phil Pot. Just could not hang on to the basketball. Coach Kropinski uh, midway, coaching this with a mask on on the sideline. Long three, no good. Rebound taken down, put back up. That's no good. Put back up this time in good by Keaton. Miller had a wide open shot there as well, but just couldn't get it to go. But Midway staying with it and getting that second and third shot in there, you cannot do that. Is Turnover and foul going to be on Keaton. Sturge a weak with a basketball on the side. He's got to be strong with it there. That turnover caused Keaton uh, – caused – Phil Pot a foul. Yes, it did. We're tied at four. Over 15 to go. First half from the Prairie Center. Men's basketball, two 20-minute halves. Unlike the women's game that has gone to four 10-minute quarters, I don't see the great significance of that. But uh, that's the way nice it goes. Jumpers. And the shot put it up in, in by Miller. Miller nice. from Newport. Yeah, Miller's got good form. Nice form. Fourth point. Not seen much out of Young so far. He's back in a zone now and a turnover. Midway has it. Field pot lucky he didn't get another foul called on him. Baseline jumper, Keaton, no good. Sturgill with the rebound. Neither team shooting it very well, to be honest. Well, to give him one for hitting the goal. Down underneath, put up no good. Tobler again, no good. Tobler went up soft. May have got a little arm, but he's got to go up meaner than that. Long straightaway three, no good. Rebound, Sturgill again. Here 14 minutes to go, and uh, not much scoring so far in this one. Noah back out to Phil Pot to Sturgill at the foul line. And just as quick as they went zone, they go back to man-to-man. -to -man. Underneath Sturgill missed at point, blank line, at point blank range. Young gets it. Floater in the lane good. Nice floater. Tied at six. Neither team, as you said, shooting the ball particularly well. Pull up jumper, no good. Rebound, Sloan gets it back in Cardinal and put up an in by Keaton. But, he, you know, he had two teammates there and uh, had an opportunity, but I don't know if he's seen the guy in blue, Harold, that time. Because that's the car. You just don't throw the ball back in, you know. Sloan down the lane. Nice move. Missed the shot. Rebound, Sturgill has it taken right out of his hand. Two on one the other way. Laid up and in by Miller. Miller's got six. Timeout, Alice Lloyd. 12.51 to go and a 10-6 lead for Midway. We'll take a break. We'll be back. At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available. Whether that be through expansion of our fiber to the home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. 
It's our home, too. Prairie Center on the campus of Al Soid College, 10-6, 12-51 to go here in the uh, first half. Midway, Eagles traveling up from uh, about 10 miles west of Lexington to get to play the Eagles of Al Sloyd. And her, very impressed with the crowd. We even had a bigger crowd, I thought. Uh, uh, they may be out taking a little break right now, but uh, a lot of when the When does uh, Alice Lloyd? I think next Friday ends the semester, I believe. Is that what you was going Yeah. 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 I, I, I think next Friday, I think. I may be wrong on that. Somebody's listening to the game. If uh, they may know a different date, they might want to let us know. But uh, – I'm thinking next Friday ends the semester. Looks like Tobler and Sturgill both on the bench. Phil Pot remains in. We'll pick up the substitution. Number two is a dunk and a city. turn and a dunk. And right now Midway just yeah. using their superior yeah. athleticism against Dallas Lloyd. Tate goes up and gets his first two the easy way. Almost turned over again out of the corner. Shot no good by Cottle. Midway is really aggressive in the passing lane, and that's uh, been huge right now. Underneath they go, and the spinning jumper no good. Cottle played good defense there, and the ball knocked out of bounds. Yeah, that was Midway number young. 54 is that uh, 52 is Alex Hoffer. Yep. A 6'8 junior from uh, Indiana. They turn inside, jumper no good, rebound down Philpot. Goes high to bring that one in. Young off the glass, no good, missed the shot. Right it, now, Alice Lloyd not shooting the ball well at all. No, they're not, Harold. And they're they, down 12 to 6. They, it's not like they got good looks either. Elbow jumper no good, and again, Connor with a rebound. Connor, 6'6, six, six, played his high school basketball at Perry Central. Was it Viper? He has it now. Pull up jump shot, no good. That's an air ball. Field pop put it back in. Nice rebound by the big guy from Winchester, Kentucky. 12 to 8, halfway through or nearing midway through the first. Field pop gets Hi. his first two. Underneath they get it, and the shot put up and in. That Boy, was a strong tough move there. shot, and is that Evans? I believe so. Yeah, four points for him with that nice touch off the glass. Sloan thought about a three, now takes it out of the deep corner. Good three-point basket by Sloan. That's the first for Alice Lloyd, 14 to 11. He's leading the team in scoring with five so far. And he's made some difficult shots. Yeah. That was a fall away jump shot, no good. Caudle with yet another rebound. Boy, Alice Lloyd can't buy one. Can't no, they've struggled. The 15-footer, the 10-footer, they, they're just not having any success right now. Jump shot no good, and uh, to be honest yeah, with you, Miller Midway, and, uh, Midway is not shooting it very much better either. No, they are not. Straight away, three field pot, no good. Everybody getting wide open looks, but maybe I don't know if they're And shooting. Hopper with the bucket. His well, first two. you know, I mean, they can give me wide open looks, and I can shoot them all out. I don't yeah. necessarily Gotta think make I'm going to make them. That's right. But... Uh, Maybe the wrong people taking the, these shots. There's a foul. Foul's going to be on Midway. Looks like they're going to have a. That was Jackson. 
No, that, yeah. that was Evans number zero. Guilty so of the foul. We'll take a media timeout as well. 16 11 from the Perry Center. Being in an accident can leave you feeling vulnerable and lost. You need a lawyer who will fight for you and be there by your side the entire way. What I believe is that with trust and collaboration, we can get you the justice that you deserve. Go to kyleshall.com right now to schedule a free consultation. I'll review the details of your case and get you back on your feet. Don't navigate the legal system alone. Get me in your corner right now. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with the click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. 9.20 to go, first half, and Alice Lloyd down by margin of five, 16 to 11. It's amazing you can be down only five, Harold, has shot the ball as bad as the Eagles have shot it so far. It's got to get better. Well, as they say, it can't get much worse. Frazier in the game, <laughs> played at uh, Cordia in Perry Central, number one. Underneath, shot put up no good. I thought a lot of contact there. So maybe you, you're right. But going the other way, and Evans stepped through good. Evans has six to lead to tie and scoring with Miller. Ellis Lloyd down by seven, driving, and the shot forced up, and we got a foul. Young man from Lawrenceville, Georgia, will be going to the line, sophomore. I'm going to let you attempt that, pronouncing that name. Shot is good. Samaro. Well, that's close enough for government work. 12, 18 to 12. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but uh, I was not going to attempt it. So, Shamora is uh, we'll, goes back to the line. We'll have to find out for sure. We don't want to do the guy bad, do we? Second shot is good. Shamora with his first uh, two points, and it is 18-13. Alice Lloyd down by five. New man into the lineup for Midway. Number 13 is Corey Gardner. Eagles with that man defense and help side that comes up. Step back, shot no good, rebound underneath, battle for it, and the foul is going to be on Tobler and or Cottle. You have three Eagles under the basket. And they were out scrapped for the ball. Sean Dameron says everybody just calls him Ben. Well, that's good. <laughs> I can pronounce Ben. <laughs> oh. 18-13. Nice to the screen. elbow, jumper no good, rebound, fought for. Ben's got it, and it's knocked out of his hands and out of bounds. Shamoro or Ben, we'll take just, your choice. We'll just take a choice. Alice Lloyd down by five, eight minutes to go until halftime. Tim Short says this is an athletic team. We well, done see that anyway. Kamakas Cates into the lineup for Alice Lloyd from Knoxville, Tennessee, number 32. Well, what happened to people naming their kids Jim and Joe and Frank and, and uh, Tobler. Rose Tobler, and it looks like he may have been pushed and fouled. Yeah. They're going to get uh, number 10, uh, Will Van Hook, a freshman from West Palm Beach, Florida. We'll get him with the foul. Frazier into the lineup. We'll inbound it for Alice Lloyd. 
Frazier, a very athletic player himself. Shot no good. Frazier see. gets it back, he puts it in, and right a foul. There. Very quick and a, a quick nice getting move. off the floor. And Frazier with a stick back. He's a six-one freshman from the Bronx in New York, and he'll go to the line. Nice play. Used the glass well. Went up. Uh, very impressed with his quickness. Shot in and out, no good. And Midway has it and a three-point lead. Good Shot block. blocked. They'll get it back. And now a long three, no good. Kobler will watch that one scoot on out of bounds, and Alice Lloyd will get it back. Midway, the last three or four trips down, I thought Alice Lloyd's defense has picked up and uh, it's caused them to take a more difficult shot. Frazier walks it across to Cates in the right wing. Alice Lloyd plays up playing a lot of people. Down inside it goes to Cottle. He'll kick it back out. Frazier, head fake, got his man off his feet like and hit shot. the jump shot. Nice shot. Frazier, Frazier is, a couple of buckets, 18-17, Alice Lloyd within one. Frazier has come in and has picked the D up, and also his quickness has is, is really helped get some offense going. Nice answer there by Midway. Back the other way. Here goes Ben. No good. And a nice play by Caudill as he threw the ball off the head of number 11, Rico Tate and Tatel. You talk about he's lights gonna have out. A, he's going to have an Excedrin number 32 <laughs> headache right there. Yeah. Oh, bye. Hey, I like the way the big guy come in and played on Caudill, come in and played physical, and, and I like that. Got the big kid from Virginia back into the lineup right now. And Let's start oh, they go inside and Ben says hello. Ben says give me two. Yeah. 2019 Midway up on top by one. Alice Lloyd has turned up the pressure defensively. And yeah, we got a, a foul out front. There. Yeah. Have you uh, noticed in this game, seemed like that foul's on Cates. the bench has come in and played much better defense. Bench. The bench has yes. played much better defense. Yes, it has. The bench, is, the bench has been very, very productive. Yeah, the Alice bench Hall. has been tough. Harold. They've come in and they've done what they've needed to do here. Sturgill did not block out, and the offensive glass gives another opportunity. Uh, there you no go. Good. There Rebound you go. Rebound down. Alice Lloyd gets it. Chance to take the lead. 5.58. 558 to go and Harold watch this watch Sturgill down low get possession here and I like that move oh yeah big I and like strong and he put it on the floor and very nice little play. baby hook in the paint and Alice Lloyd yeah. has got the lead I, I, I just love the way the bench has come in here and play here is oh! I thought he a, walked. I, well, he you know he turned his ankle. That yeah. was a nicely looking foul. You don't want to see that on anybody. That was Travis underneath. Nice the foul, foul. going to be on uh, Frazier. A little Frazier. too much on him. Yeah, but I like the defensive play there. We're talking about Alice Lloyd playing a lot of people, and they their do. bench has been productive. You're right, and and. Uh, uh, they played at least 10 deep. Yeah, uh, and it wouldn't surprise me if one or two more kids don't get in. Let's take a break. 2120 ALC. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages. We've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. 
For over 100 years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. Good game, Brun and Purry at the Purry Center. It's 21-20 ALC by one over Midway and Midway, a very athletic basketball team. But Scott Corny kind of countered with a little bit of uh, athleticism himself. He, he brought it in his bench and yeah. they have performed well. Frazier and Ben and the guys have really come out and yeah, played well. Yeah, and I thought uh, uh, Caudill come in and give him some good minutes as well and uh, was physical in the paint and uh, strong with the ball. And uh, so, uh, you know, the bench the has line, come in Keaton, and played well. 6'4", freshman from Paintsville over in Johnson this County. This game no keeps getting funner as we watch it. Yes, it is. Yes, it does. <clears throat> 21-20, and Midway can tie with a bucket here. Not been a good shooting night for either team, really. A lot of easy opportunities have not been took advantage of. One out of two from the line. We're tied at 21. Kate's in backcourt, lobs it to the first row, and that should have been an over and back. Yeah, but nice play. Underneath, Tobler, good. Nice pass by Ben to hit him and uh, – Put it in right off the glass, and Eagles have a two-point lead. 23-21. Eagles have played with a little more enthusiasm on the defensive end. Last have. couple of minutes, and out of the corner of the jumper, it's good by Rico Tate. Memphis, Tennessee. Tate has four with that jumper. Here goes Cates down the lane, puts up, puts it up on the glass. No good. Rebound. Ben put it back up and in. I tell you what, Harold, he's a pretty darn good basketball player. Well, he's player. one of those guys where the ball seems to find him, he's you know. Got good speed, good touch. He plays tough. Oh, nice move, Tate. Jumper no. Rebound, Tobler. Frazier moving the ball to the left side. I look for Sturgill to get down there and get set up, and here he is. What will he do with it? He, he gets it strong. out, and Kate's out of the corner for three. Good. Good range. Alan Sloyd stretches the lead out to five. 345 to go, first time. Trying to remain unbeaten on the young year, 8-0. Are the Eagles coached by Scott Cornett? Well, it's Lloyd's defense has picked up seven, shot, seven seconds on the shot clock. Got to do something with it. Going baseline. Put it in. Nice move. Nice Boy, what move a nice by shot by Miller. Miller. Yeah, he's got eight and uh, nice hang time I thought, there. I thought uh, Tobler would play great defense. I did. And, all he could he, do. Yeah, he, he just twisted and turned and got it off the glass. Tobler, corner three, no good. Air ball, rebound, knocked down. and Yeah, Frazier come off, but it's nowhere to go. And uh, now they're going to call a yeah. foul on Tobler, and I don't know so much about that. Yeah, I thought. I didn't see a whole I lot th of contact the guy there. guy really dodged him, to be honest. Didn't see a lot of contact yeah. there. In the first game tonight, it was Midway women winning 194 over the Eagles. A good fault battle there. First one up gives him 26-28. Hits the bottom of the net. One more for Gardner. Shot is good. 28-27. Been a good game. 
It has. And a quick moving game. 2.53 to go. Neither yeah. team uh, anywhere close to getting into the bonus. Yeah, both teams have played hard. Uh, they're offensive. Young and Sloan get back into the lineup for the Eagles. Alice Lloyd's facing the zone. And a bad pass by Sturgill picked off. Sturgill played soft again there. Miller dotted line, no good. Rebound tipped out. Miller's going to get it back, 28-27. And a runner is no good. Good defend by Phil Pod not strong there. And pull up jumper good off the glass by tries. Tate. Right Three. there, Alice Lloyd gave him a couple opportunities. Yeah, and they uh, did. They're going to make you pay when you do that. 29-28, Sloan. I, I tell you, uh, Coach Cornett's team this year is a is got to be where you know you go in and you don't play hard. There's somebody going to be in your spot. Young for three, no good. Rebound down to Midway. One point lead for Midway. Midway got their big guy back in there. Make Hoffer. it a four point lead now. And three is pointer is good. As Travis hits a four, hits a three pointer right out of Ricardo that. Ricardo right Travis, corner. yeah, from Louisville. Thirty-two twenty-eight, little mini run of nine in a row by Midway. Sturgill looks and finds Tobler. Tobler down the lane and made it take it to the glass and go ahead and put that one in. Yeah, he's got to put that up. trying to throw it at back, and yeah. this one cost him. Shot no good. Midway a chance to stretch the lead there. Under a minute, first half. Sloan. Sloan for three. That's no good. Rebound down inside. Midway has it. They're going to call a timeout with 47 seconds to go. Call that 30-second timeout or lose it. And it's going to be a full timeout, so we'll take one as well. 32-28 in favor of Midway. Since 1954, Heinemann Funeral Services has been part of this community. When your family needs someone who cares, Danny Terry and his staff are here to help. During your family's time of need, they are a helping hand through every step of the process, from services to monument and to your loved one's final resting place. Celebrating over 50 years proud service to the community, Heinemann Funeral Services. 28-32, midway by four here with 47 seconds to go till half on the campus of Alice Lloyd College, the Prairie Center. Uh, been a cold shooting so forth in the game. We've had a few runs and stretches where we've had a couple buckets back to back, but for the most part, here in the first half, Earl. It's well, you know, to be honest, I think Alice Lloyd's second unit, to, you know, yeah. played with a lot more fire than their starters have. I agree. And yeah. build a little bit of a lead, but. Uh, he went back to his starters, and uh, you look up, and you're down four inside the last 50 seconds of the yep. first half. Pressure by the Eagles. Nice hedge out on defense there, and finally Sturgill, Sturgill fouled yeah, him, reached more. in and slapped it away, and with 29 seconds to go, they will inbound side court. Not been a whole lot of fouls in the, uh, uh, in the game so far. Six for Al Sloyd, five for Midway. So it looks like Midway. They will uh, hope for the last shot. Yeah. Will the Eagles of Midway. Miller off the high ball screen now penetrates, fires it up and in. Nice scoop shot there. Yeah, nice it was scoop right shot. Off the glass. Ten seconds to go, six point lead. Young got it. Young inside field pot. Now to Sturgill. Jumper no good. Field yeah. pot with a rebound, but we'll go to halftime with a score. Midway 34, Alice Lloyd 28. We'll be back. 
Appalachian Wireless and Samsung introduced a smartphone that everyone is flipping over, the Z Flip 3. Looking for something that stands out in the crowd amongst regular smartphones? Then the Z Flip 3 is the device for you on the region's best service, Appalachian Wireless. The Z Flip 3 is an actual flip phone that, when opened, reveals a stunning 6.7-inch touchscreen for the best of both worlds. It's compact, powerful, and the most unique smartphone in the world. Get more information at AppalachianWireless.com. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. <laughs> I believe in getting your hands dirty. I believe the best recipes are never written down. I believe in fried chicken, cornbread, and soup beans. I believe in the cards. I believe in cats. I believe in insurance coverage that helps you sleep at night. I believe in always carrying an umbrella. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Contact Derek Bowling, your Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in Hazard. Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. A place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between. We're committed to serving you with the latest technology. Whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. <laughs> At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available. Whether that be through expansion of our fiber to the home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. It's our home too. Being in an accident can leave you feeling vulnerable and lost. You need a lawyer who will fight for you and be there by your side the entire way. What I believe is that with trust and collaboration, we can get you the justice that you deserve. Go to KyleSHall.com right now to schedule a free consultation. I will review the details of your case and get you back on your feet. Don't navigate the legal system alone. Get me in your corner right now. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with the click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. Since 1954, Heinemann Funeral Services has been part of this community. When your family needs someone who cares, Danny Terry and his staff are here to help. During your family's time of need, they are a helping hand through every step of the process, from services to monument and to your loved one's final resting place. Celebrating over 50 years proud service to the community, Heinemann Funeral Services. 
Appalachian Wireless and Samsung introduced a smartphone that everyone is flipping over, the Z Flip 3. Looking for something that stands out in the crowd amongst regular smartphones? Then the Z Flip 3 is the device for you on the region's best service, Appalachian Wireless. The Z Flip 3 is an actual flip phone that, when opened, reveals a stunning 6.7-inch touchscreen for the best of both worlds. It's compact, powerful, and the most unique smartphone in the world. Get more information at AppalachianWireless.com. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. <laughs> I believe in getting your hands dirty. I believe the best recipes are never written down. I believe in fried chicken, cornbread, and soup beans. I believe in the cards. I believe in cats. I believe in insurance coverage that helps you sleep at night. I believe in always carrying an umbrella. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Contact Derek Bowling, your Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in Hazard. Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. A place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between. We're committed to serving you with the latest technology. Whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. <laughs> At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available. Whether that be through expansion of our fiber to the home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. It's our home too. Being in an accident can leave you feeling vulnerable and lost. You need a lawyer who will fight for you and be there by your side the entire way. What I believe is that with trust and collaboration, we can get you the justice that you deserve. Go to KyleSHall.com right now to schedule a free consultation. I will review the details of your case and get you back on your feet. Don't navigate the legal system alone. Get me in your corner right now. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with a click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages we've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. Welcome to the Man Toyota at the Hive here on Hometown 24. It is Alice Lloyd down six at halftime. And, David, I thought they started out rather weak, to be honest. Got a little uh, insertion of spirit from the bench and uh, got back in. Took the lead, actually, 28-23. But uh, Midway finished on 11-0 run to lead by six here at halftime. Yeah, I, I thought overall uh, – both teams have played 
pretty decent uh, for us, that is. I don't think they've shot it well, and I don't think there's really been a whole lot of deep defensive pressure at times. But Al Sloyd, uh, they had a lot of help, like you said, off the bench, Earl. And I, I think Coach Cornett will probably have to go back and uh, play play some more of those kids. Uh, he's got to get more out of uh, Sloan shooting the ball when he gets an opportunity and Young has got to, and I thought Sturgill needs to take care of the ball. He's got three turnovers by just not being strong with the basketball. He's better than that. He needs to be stronger. Yeah, I thought the uh, the, the quickness uh, Coach Corny brought in off the bench matched up better Yeah, with uh, some of the kids for uh, Midway. And uh, I think you'll see him go back to that and, and uh, uh, try to – you know, to equal things out a little bit, athletically speaking, man on man. Yeah, I thought Tobler was cautious. He didn't really turn loose there. I think he needs to be aggressive. Uh, he's got good strength, and uh, he can very easily take his man to the goal. They give him some room to operate and take advantage of that matchup. So uh, we'll see what happens during the second half. Looking forward to it. I think uh, it's going to be an interesting finish. Thursday night we'll be uh, right back here uh, as Knox County Central will play Letcher Central in boys basketball, our first look at the high school level. And we'll take a look at uh, the 53rd district matchup, Knox County and uh, Letcher Central, that coming up Thursday night. And then Saturday, I think uh, I got another Alice Lloyd College double header. The opposition is... Uh, St. Mary's? Oakland maybe? City. Oakland City. Yeah. Oakland and City. so uh, the, that game will be, uh, boy-girl doubleheader will be Saturday. And then uh, next week we get back to things with uh, some more high school basketball uh, as we uh, have the start of the YMT tournament coming up here in a little more than a week. Yeah, that could be interesting. There's some pretty good ball clubs in that, so uh, I look forward to some close games there as well. Who you uh, who you put looking as the early favorite for the YMT? Probably Knox Central, maybe? Probably one of the teams, no question. Uh, you're probably right. They're probably, you know, if, if you look at all the teams, uh, what, what they've got coming back, you, you would have to give them a little bit of an edge, but you never know you get in that tournament. So oh, you never know. We've seen some strange you things. You never know. You're exactly right. 34-28 here at halftime. Midway leads Alice Lloyd. Second half just ahead from the Prairie Campus Center at Alice Lloyd College. We'll be back then. 34-28, our score at halftime. Since 1954, Heinemann Funeral Services has been part of this community. When your family needs someone who cares, Danny Terry and his staff are here to help. During your family's time of need, they are a helping hand through every step of the process, from services to monument and to your loved one's final resting place. Celebrating over 50 years proud service to the community, Heinemann Funeral Services. Appalachian Wireless and Samsung introduced a smartphone that everyone is flipping over, the Z Flip 3. Looking for something that stands out in the crowd amongst regular smartphones? Then the Z Flip 3 is the device for you. On the region's best service, Appalachian Wireless, the Z Flip 3 is an actual flip phone that, when opened, reveals a stunning 6.7-inch touchscreen for the best of both worlds. It's compact, powerful, and the most unique smartphone in the world. Get more information at AppalachianWireless.com. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. <laughs> I believe in getting your hands dirty. I believe the best recipes are never written down. I believe in fried chicken, cornbread, and soup beans. I believe in the cards. I believe in cats. I believe in insurance coverage that helps you sleep at night. I believe in always carrying an umbrella. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Contact Derek Bowling, your Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in Hazard.
20 minutes to go here at the Perry Center. 28-34, second half getting ready to go. And uh, hopefully the shooting picks up a little better than it was in the first half for the Eagles. Got a cold start of the game, and they need to start the half with some buckets and defend the basketball and get going in the right way. Looks like Coach Cornett will send his starters out that started the ball game. Young, Tobler, Sloan, Sturgill are ready to go. And we're ready to go as well as almost a turnover to get the second half underway. Phil Pot got his hand on that a little bit as it went through the lane. Starters both ways are back to begin the second half. There's the runner good by Evans. That was a tough shot. 36-28, the lead that balloons to eight. That's Ev the biggest lead for either team. Evans with eight points so far on the night. Back in a zone and down the lane, Young. Dumps it off, and right now, Alice Lloyd not showing a whole lot of movement against this zone. There's a three-pointer, no good. Run out and a basket by Miller. Miller has 10 on the night. He's the leading scorer so far. Danger for, time for yeah, Alice Lloyd. Not a real good shot by Tobler. Tobler needs to be inside and go to work there. Alice Lloyd don't have a whole lot of great shooters on out there right now with the exception of Sloan. Yeah, he's got seven. He leads them in scoring. Nice jumper. That was too easy. Yeah. Evans goes into double figures now with 10, with the 10-footer right in the paint. Alice Lloyd down by 10. Tobler goes underneath, and Sturgill reversed, and I don't know why he's the biggest man out there. No good. Rebound, Alex Lloyd got it back. Field pot missed it. Sturgill again, good. Nice rebound on the offside. Get his first two of the game. 40-32, midway by eight. Alex Lloyd has continued to play the straight-up man-to-man defense. And right now they're having a, a difficult time guarding this quick midway team. Evans shot no good. Back the other way, Sloan breaks baseline. Phil Potten out of Tobler. Alice Lloyd don't have a lot of long-range bombers out there right now, Well, does he? Sloan is one of them, but he's going to get plenty of attention. And that one and he shot off That's a bad shot. That's balance. a bad shot, yes. Yeah. Front court, Miller stepped into a three and hit it. Miller 13 with that jumper, 22 feet out in the floor. 11 point lead. I tell you, this uh, Midway team looks well coached, don't they? They do, and uh, they share the ball well. And, uh, you know, Al Sloyd has shared the ball well tonight, but they're just not. Uh, Hit, hit these little shots like that. Real pot, no good. Put back up Sturgill, good. And the foul's going to be on Keaton of Midway. And one opportunity. Sturgill, a big bucket there. And he's got back-to-back -back buckets, matter of fact. Up off the bench, Benton. Here comes Ben. He had a big first time. He did. He played well. Very impressed with his quickness and how he handles the ball, shares the ball with his teammates. Very impressed with him. Phil Pot goes out of the lineup. Phil Pot uh, struggling a little bit. I thought he's rebounded the ball fairly well, but he's not shot it very well from 15 feet. They have feet not in. shot it well at all. Second shot, not the shot by Sturgill, no good. Ben will draw the assignment to Travis. Here's the move and the step back by Miller rolls home. 15 for him as he starts to get a far. 
45-34. Midway Loop in and that. Pice is really not getting it done. Here goes Ben to the glass and one. <laughs> nice move, and he's got six her on. Him and Sloan is leading the team in scoring right now. Evans not agreeing with our referee at all and uh, got him on the way back that's down. three on him. Yeah, got him on the way back down. Probably going to have to come out of there with 16 minutes still to go in the second half. 45-36. One shot coming up. And that one rolls out. Sturgill has it, and Sturgill's guilty of the foul. Little right hand, little push maybe in the back to get a head start there, and the official was there watching that. Thirty-six forty-five. Al Sloyd and the man defense. Evan backs up behind the arc. He's had, or Miller, he's had a big, big second half. Goes into the corner. Tate. Gets it back. Jump shot is good. Nice shot there. Six for Tate. By Travis. That was number four, Travis, who made that shot. A little bit of difference right now is Midway. Last three trips down have made buckets. Tobler misses uh, in close. Sturgill rebounds to Sloan. Alice Lloyd loses control. Run out the other way. And uh, ball stripped down and out of bounds. <laughs> It'll stay with Midway. Offensive yeah. foul, yes, sir. That that is uh, Evans. Evans, and that's his fourth. You know that was a good call, Harl. It, it was really obvious, really. And he, Evans reacts as he heads to the bench, but that was a good call. You're exactly right. Yeah, he was pretty obvious. He took his hand and moved him back, and now Evans is going to have to sit for an extended amount of time. Yes, he will. And they will miss him. Alasoy getting no penetration at all against this defense. And looked like Tobler may have got away with an offensive foul himself. Sloan stepped back, missed the shot, put back up and in by Young. Nice foul, and Young's got four. But where it comes into play now, they've got to have some stops. they got to play D on this end. They have Miller, who has uh, been very exposed, explosive in this half. They've got Ben on him, and yeah. he may slow him down a little bit. Run out. Ben puts it up and in. He's got uh, another big bucket, and uh, he's come right ah, this, this kid's got to be on Eight. the floor, it looks to me like. Yeah, it. I, I see no reason why he shouldn't be. Yeah. I agree, 47 to 47 point lead. On the move, Tate pull up, no good. Rebound, Sturgill lost it. Sloan saved it and Young brings it in front court. Here goes Ben, lays it in. Nice move. Kid's gotta be on the floor, <laughs> he really does. 47, <laughs> 42, 13, 36 to go. Second half, we'll take a break, we'll be back. Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. A place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between. We're committed to serving you with the latest technology. Whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome back, Perry Center, 1336 to go here in the second half, 47-42, Eagles on a little bit of a run right now. Well, you gotta believe that they're playing bin ball right now. They are playing bin ball, you are right. Just give him the ball. And he uh, has uh, been uh, active on the defensive end. Yeah. He has been active on the offensive side of things. And uh, he's just been a difference maker. They've got him on Miller now, and he is flat playing the defense on Miller. Sloan's Miller has defense. it now. Sloan's defense have picked up as well, I've noticed this half. Here goes Miller. He has stepped back, took a tough shot, no good. Rebound down. Sturgill, Tobler, back in his way in. Missed the shot. Put it back, no good. This time he got fouled, and Tobler's got to make that. You are right. Why not he's, go up and just yeah, ram it in? He's got to he's got to get the job done there. Forty-seven, forty-two. Naaman Tobler at the line never was a great free throw shooter, and you probably saw right there why. Yeah. Tobler played. He his turns that foot almost sideways, and. Uh, don't square up to the basketball goal to me, don't I? See him turn sideways right there? And he missed the shot. Ben's got the rebound. Tobler inside, missed it, got it back, laid it in. Nice move there. That's where Tobler is tough at, driving to the basket and using the board. 47-44. Midways lead down to three. And a blocking foul on Young. That is team foul number two on Ellis Lloyd. Looks like Kate's Kate's into the lineup. Tobler will leave. Looks like Caudill will come back as well. Miller backing up on the dribble now, looking for a screen, drives and falls back and missed the shot, an air ball out of bounds. I got to believe that uh, Ben's defense on, on Miller has really thrown him off his game a little bit. Well, i tell you what, he, he, he plays some good tough D, no question about it, moves his feet well, and, and there's a bad pass. There's a bad pass, turnover, going the other way, laid up no good, Miller will go to the line. Not very good space in there to start off. It puts Sloan in a spot because he really had nowhere to go as three defenders have come up and cut the passing gaps off and nobody was moving. Kind of left him in a tough spot there. First one's good. Miller with his first point in a while. Ben has been defensing the defending very well with him. He's got six. Hey, Miller, good looking athlete, isn't he? He is. He's very good. Uh, got good form on his shot, and he really shoots it well. Good follow through. Almost another bad pass. Young and Sloan having a lot of trouble with the length of Midway out there on that little half court press. Good job by Coach Sloan Corning. walked with it. Good uh, move by Coach Cornett to pull Noah Caudill up a little bit. We'll have a timeout, looks like, with 11.53 to go, 47.44, Midway. At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available, whether that be through expansion of our fiber-to-the-home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. It's our home, too. 
being in an accident can leave you feeling vulnerable and lost. You need a lawyer who will fight for you and be there by your side the entire way. What I believe is that with trust and collaboration, we can get you the justice that you deserve. Go to kyleshall.com right now to schedule a free consultation. I'll review the details of your case and get you back on your feet. Don't navigate the legal system alone. Get me in your corner right now. 49-44, 11.53 to go, second half. Midway, inbound in the ball. Alice Lloyd will pick him up, man. Got caught on playing the paint there. Willing to cut everybody off there. A nice head fake. Shot no good, but the foul's going to be on Phil Pont. Yeah, Phil Pont did not grab the basketball and strong with it, and it costed him a foul. Still have a player down for midway. Looks like he's getting up now. And maybe a cramp hit him there a little bit. That was number 11. That's Tate. And uh, looks like he's all right. 49-44, five-point lead. Frazier, you into the lineup for Alice Lloyd right now. So Ellis Lloyd with a little bit quicker lineup in there right now. They lob it in backcourt, and Miller will start the offense. Looks like Frazier is guarding Travis. Got the assignment on him. Pull-up jumper, no good, and rebound down to field pot. Good defense there. Forced a very difficult shot. Front court. Ben cuts it underneath, field pop, put it up, son. Long three-pointer cage, no good. Rebound, Ben, back up inside, and he'll go to the line. This young man works hard. He this does young indeed. man works hard, David. Very athletic, jumps well, and got a nice touch, too. Shoots it very well. He'll go to the line, and a couple of free throws here. I'll be honest with you, Harold. So far, what we've seen, it's very tough to have this guy on the bench at all. <laughs> I agree. He has certainly been a spark plug. He's went to the glass. He's scored. He's played defense. Not much more you can ask of the young man. Plays extremely hard every play, defense or offense. Got to hit some of these free throws. Forty-nine, forty-four. One more shot coming up. And he missed a pair. It appears if he's got a weakness, it may be from 15 feet, right? Yeah, it may be. That's the only weakness I've seen so far. Ain't you? Yeah. Travis with it, drives, gets through, lays it in. Cates didn't handle him off the dribble. No, nope, that's a nice move. Left hand, left side, and use the left hand to put it off the glass. Back to a seven-point lead. Cates still back to Frazier, and he didn't get it across the timeline. Cates Turnover. had a man. Ben was there at the top of the circle, thought he was going to get the basketball, but it did not enter that way. So it'll be midway basketball after the turnover on Ellis Lloyd. Corey Gardner from Owensboro, number 13, gets it inbound. Miller crossover in the beauty. Jump shot, no good. Rebound, Cates. And we got a foul underneath. And I believe it's going to be on Gardner. I believe you're right, Harold. Mm -mm. Kind of undercut, undercut him a little him. bit. Yes, he did. Mm. It was Gardner, and it was his second. 
Just over 10 to go here in the ball game. Eagles trailing by seven, and they need a bucket and a few stops. Frazier gets double team, gets it in front court. Driving with it, Ben gets through underneath, misses the shot, Phil Pot put it back up, and it. Nice rebound by the guy from Winchester. 51-46, five-point midway lead. Bill Pot has four for the Eagles tonight so far. Boy, there's a tough shot. He made it, but it was a tough shot. That was Ricardo Travis. He's got two threes on the night tonight. And, and there's a turnover. Frazier loses it. Front court they go, and driving with it, Ricardo Travis good again. Back-to-back -back three point shots. He's got and nine. the lead now at 11. Pull up jump shot, Cage, no good. Tip, no good. Rebound on the floor. Caudill battling. Midway has it down the lane. And a kick out. And the shot is good by Miller. Three straight. Three-point baskets. And Midway leads by 14 with 8.45 to go. And we'll be back. Come out on the floor. No matter what town or community you live in, there's a Tim Short dealership nearby. That's because our family of dealerships are dedicated to serving the folks throughout Eastern Kentucky. Our employees are your friends and neighbors, helping to support the local economy and provide safe and affordable transportation to everyone that shops the family of Tim Short dealerships. Our entire inventory can be found with the click of a button at timshortautogroup.com. Visit us online and join the thousands of customers that took the short drive to satisfaction today. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages. We've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. 60 to 46, 45 to go in midway. Heating up. Three straight three-point baskets, and uh, Alice Lloyd having a hard time with the pressure, the high-court pressure of midway. Young back into the lineup for the Eagles. They're having trouble about at midcourt with the next pass. Right here, they were having trouble with this pass. Now, good job by Young. Young down the lane with a runner, good. They needed a bucket there, 60 to 48. Six points for Young, nice little touch there. Hollis Floyd trying to extend the defense out. Travis has it guarded by Young. Long three, Trav uh, Travis, no good. <laughs> Boy, uh, that was Good about thing they had a backboard up there. 30-footer. Cates for three, no good. Cottle runs it down in the corner. Getting his teammates set back up. Here goes Young again off the glass. Good. <coughs> Young starting to heat up. Got eight. Back-to-back -back buckets by Young, and it's 60-50. Miller works now, splits the double team, lays it in. What a nice move. What a nice move by Miller. 22 for him as he. Ahead, Ben lays it in, and a foul. Boy, this kid has played well tonight. Looks like Ben is going into 12. Sturgill and Tobler come back. He'll be shooting for number 13, Earl, with this Cates free throw. and Cottle will leave.
shooting for number 13. Al Sloyd, 8 and 0 right now. And, uh, you know, I'm, they want to get this and go to 9 and 0, but they've, they've got about a nine point difference right here. They've got to make up. Tobler with a nice rebound. He'll give it to Young, and here comes the Eagles. Young with it almost threw it away. He got it back. Young with a move. Young with a teardrop in the lane. No good. Nine-point lead and a long three. Miller, no good. Rebound, Tobler. Last two trips down. Midway, no, no bucket. Down underneath, Tobler with a nice pass, and he puts it up no good, but he'll go to the line. Looks like Tate will Nice high-low entry pass from Sturgill. It was. Nice pass. Perfectly laid in there. 16, 619 to go, and Tobler, if he can connect here, can pull Alice Lloyd a little closer. Yep. Nice touch there by Tobler. His third point. One more for Tobler out of Perry County Central High School. Cuts the lead to seven with 6.15 to go. Well, behind the arc, Tate. Now Gardner. A lot of one-on-one -on -one play by this Midway team, but they do have some athlete now. They'll turn it over. Tate loses it. Young down the lane. Young fires it up and in. Young has 10, goes to double digits with that bucket. And that was a big bucket as the lead's down to five and still plenty of time to go in the game. Looking for and find Keaton in the corner. Sturgill will guard him. He's way out behind the arc. Now makes his move on Sturgill. Turn. Sturgill playing pretty good defense. Fires it back out. And Gardner's three is no good. And Alice Lloyd has the rebound. Chance to get closer. Down by five. Young. Handling way outside, calls for a high ball screen. Now goes to the corner to Ben. He goes baseline. He got fouled. Foul was on Miller, number two. And that is team foul number nine. So we got shots coming up. It's going to be a timeout here with 5.03 to go. 5.03 to go. We got timeout on the floor. 62.57. Things starting to tighten up just a little bit. We'll be right back. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages. We've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. For over 100 years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. The 62-57. Young has been uh, huge for the Eagles here in the second half. Had eight points here in the second half. And 
Caudill has also come in and had a couple buckets. But uh, for the most part, a lot of people like Phil Pop with four, Tobler with four. Scoring has been shared there by the team quite a bit. Sloan uh, got seven for the Eagles. Three jumpers. Shot, shot comes No off. good. Boy, you miss. You've got to make those shots. Last three free throws have not been kind to the Eagles of Alice Lloyd. What do we got? Foul down low on Young. And that is team foul number five on Alice Lloyd. So they will inbound the basketball wheel midway. There's a not ball knocked down by Ben, but uh, Miller will get it back. Goes into the paint now, threw it up, no good. Rebound down, and we got a foul. That's going to be on who? Looks like number 14. That's going to be Phil Pot. Phil Pot got the foul, and going to the line will be Miller. He'll shoot a couple. Fouled the wrong guy. He's got 22 on the night and shooting for 23 and 24 here. Miller kind of got built out there, wouldn't you think? I think so. That's point 23. Coach Joe Kropinski in his sixth year as head coach at Midway. Got a pretty good basketball team, my friend. Yes, Second shot, no good. Playoff. Rebound down to Field Pot. Leads at six. Young in the middle of the court. Brings it across the timeline through a pass that really Ben saved him a turnover. Jump shot, no good. Rebound. Alice Lloyd gets it back. They go inside to Sturgill. He turns. Boy, no call there. And now they get a, call on, a foul on Alice Lloyd. Uh, Sturgill, I, I couldn't really tell. It looked like he may have had body contact, but I think you, I think the guy in the white shirt and the blue tie over there in front of Alice Lloyd Bench think they might have been a little contact there. I agree. Going to the line, Miller back there. And Boy, you don't want to put him there. 64 57. 25 coming. And uh, I'll tell you, Harold, he's, uh, he's been a pretty nice player tonight. No question he's about it. He's been the best player on the court, to be brutally honest. Ben DeYoung, Young in front court. Alice Lloyd down by eight. Need a bucket. 353 to go. Tobler. Back outside, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, tipped around and taken in the corner. Miller has it. He goes a little cold shooting the last two trips down. Alice Lloyd, if they're going to extend the winning streak, going to have to come from eight down with three and a half to go. Pinning jump shot, no foul, Tobler. And two shots coming up to Evans, who just came back into the lineup. Three twenty-five on the clock. Evans shot no good. Like Ben's leaving the lineup as Sloan comes back in. I thought Ben has played extremely hard tonight, Harrell, and uh, I, I think he's given it what he had. He's, I think you're right. Yep. Second shot, no good. They get a break. Young going to go to the line as the foul is on Travis. 
first foul on Travis of the ball game. Tobler looks like he's getting ready to. Uh, I used Southeast beat this uh, midway team back in November. Where'd they play eight, at? By eight points at Southeast. Southeast shoots it there, and uh, Al Sloyd. And they going. beat Oklahoma, Oakland City by five at Oakland City earlier in the year. 317 to go. Timeout on the court. We'll be back. Since 1954, Heinemann Funeral Services has been part of this community. When your family needs someone who cares, Danny Terry and his staff are here to help. During your family's time of need, they are a helping hand through every step of the process, from services to monument and to your loved one's final resting place. Celebrating over 50 years proud service to the community, Heinemann Funeral Services. Sixty-five, fifty-seven, midway leading with three seventeen to go, and last couple trips down is was unkind to the Eagles of Al Sloyd Harold not being able to get the bucket, and now they've got themselves in a spot where each possession they must come out and do something with it. They must score and and play some defense here if they're going to win this one. Young back at the stripe, and he can cut the lead to six if he can convert here. Plenty of time, 317 still remaining. Young shot rolls off. And the rebound comes down to midway. I think if you looked at this game... Before we tipped it off, you would probably give the edge to Alice Lloyd, but certainly Midway has been very tough in this one. Oh, they've shot it better from the outside than the Eagles have, so that has been in there, plus the three-point shot right there. Step back three, no good, and Phil Pye with a rebound. Young, Tobler. Down the lane, laid in by Phil Pot. Nice touch. 65-60, here comes pressure all over the court. They break it easily. Shot up and in by Sturgill with Evans. Just not, uh, didn't, couldn't get over enough to cut that one off. Sloan back in the game for Al Sloyd. And the foul is going to be on uh, that Miller. If you're midway, you definitely do not want that. Double Stop bonus time for Alice Lloyd. They'll get two free throws the rest of the way. 2.06 remaining. Young getting ready. Points 11 and 12 here for the point guard. And he missed it. I tell you, the last five free throws, the Eagles have missed four of them. Well, they missed two in a row. Young has. He goes back for one more. You just can't do that under five minutes. You've got to hit them. 11 points for him. 67-61. Here comes the 2-1. One, 1-2, one, 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 full court pressure. Wilberforce, or correction, Midway will be a team very difficult to press, wouldn't you think? Yeah, their speed, uh, quickness. Down the lane, we got a foul, well. or they say it will go to Alice Lloyd. Timeout by Midway, a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here and remind everyone we'll be right back here at the Prairie Center Saturday afternoon, a matinee classic. Boy-girl double header with Oakland City. Yep, should be a dandy. And then Tuesday night, another double header. <laughs> or Thursday night, I'm sorry. Thursday night will be a game on 24, yet to be determined. Knock County Central, Lecture Central, or Prairie and Cordia. One of those two games will be on hometown 24, the other one 
on 25, and uh, you stay tuned for both of those. Yeah, got some good games lined up uh, for the basketball season, but, and uh, looking forward to it. Uh, winter time is here. Round ball has started. 139 to go, down six. Alice Lloyd needs uh, to score and score quickly. They call for Phil Pot to come out and set a pick. Trying to get Sloan some room here for Field his Pot probably lucky he didn't get a foul there. There's a long three. Good, Phil Pot. Nice touch by Phil Pot. 67 64. Timeout, Alice Lloyd. 122 to go. Three point game. Good one, Bruin. We'll be back. Appalachian Wireless and Samsung introduced a smartphone that everyone is flipping over, the Z Flip 3. Looking for something that stands out in the crowd amongst regular smartphones? Then the Z Flip 3 is the device for you. On the region's best service, Appalachian Wireless, the Z Flip 3 is an actual flip phone that, when opened, reveals a stunning 6.7-inch touchscreen for the best of both worlds. It's compact, powerful, and the most unique smartphone in the world. Get more information at AppalachianWireless.com. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. 67-64 with a minute 22 to go here at the Prairie Center, campus of Al Lloyd College. College basketball has begun. Midway will have the basketball. Alice Lloyd, uh, Ben has checked back in. Sloan will be the off guard from him with Young. A little smaller, quicker team. Coach Cornett going to him and Coach Stepp. Alice Lloyd coming to pressure all over the court. 67-64, one possession game. Ball almost picked off there. Miller has it. Now inside, turning, forcing it up, no good. But we got a foul on uh, Tobler, and probably uh, that's not a bad thing because the putback was good. Yeah. And going to the line will be Rico Tate, 6-1, Junior from Memphis, Tennessee. Six points on the night for him as he shoot for number seven. And, and it's a off. line drive shot off the front of the iron. This one line drive and in. Seven points for him. Lead now at four with 61 seconds to go. Get a little sweat up off the floor there. I figure the Eagles will try to get this down as soon as possible. Young and maybe make his drive, and he does. And, and he was fouled. Line. He's going to go to the line. Foul, if that was on... No, it was not on Evans. It was on number four, Travis. And Travis picks up his second, but more importantly, Young goes to the line to shoot two with 54 seconds to go. His team down by four. Big free throw there. Young has 12 with that one. Number 13 coming up, and it will be big if he can get it to go. Cut this lead to two. Alice Lloyd has fought uphill all second half long. Good again. 68-66, and we'll have timeout by Alice Lloyd to set that defense, and it's going to be a full timeout with 54 seconds to go. We'll take a break. We'll be back. I believe in Kentucky. I believe in Kentucky. <laughs> I believe in getting your hands dirty. I believe the best recipes are never written down. I believe in fried chicken, cornbread, and soup beans. I believe in the cards. I believe in cats. I believe in insurance coverage that helps you sleep at night. I believe in always carrying an umbrella. I am Kentucky. I am Kentucky. Contact Derek Bowling, your Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in Hazard. 68-66, our double-header basketball action, our first of the season from Alice Lloyd. 
or my first of the season for Ellis Lloyd. All of us. All of us first of the season. <laughs> yeah. And it's been two dandy games. Yes, it yeah. has. And the home team, hometown Lady Eagles missed the, lost their first game. I mean, lost their game, the first one tonight. And Alice Lloyd's men's team down by two with 54 seconds to go. Eagles. 46 seconds to go and counting and Phil Pot out to force to guard a much quicker Travis. Now they'll back up and give him a lot of room. Takes it to the elbow, kicks it out. Gardner now down into the corner, fall away jumper, no good. Rebound. Alice Lloyd. Looking for the tie, Young in front court. 15 seconds underneath, being good, and a foul. That was a nice pass by Young. Hit him just perfect time, so he'd go up, use the board. And Alice Lloyd with 12 seconds to go will send a shooter to the line and a chance to take the lead. And he has not been a great free throw shooter tonight, but yeah. he only has to make one, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And then you you know you've got twelve seconds to go. So to play defense. Yeah. Midway's got time to come down and get a good shot, but Al Floyd wanna rough that somehow and let's see what Coach Cornet plans if a, a trap maybe or or uh, you know uh, to double up uh, a young man who has been tough all night, and that's Miller. He's played an exceptional game for Midway. He would be the man of my choice. I think so, and, you know, uh, he, he can drive as well. So, uh, but Midway, the second half, has really made their bet on that three-point shot, and uh, they've had spurts where they've hit a few, and they've had spurts where – uh, they've gone three or four trips down and not hit, and that let the Eagles, as the Eagles have attacked the basket more in the last five minutes than midway. Going to the line. Ben Samora. He's a good guy, and I like him, and I tell you what, he is uh, – he is very quick. He handles the ball extremely well. And the shot no good. Tobler rebounds. Gets it back out. Alice Lloyd with a chance to win it. Sloan. Five seconds timeout by Alice Lloyd. And Tobler goes down. He is hurt. I think he's got a cramp in his calf. But Alice Lloyd's got 5.3 seconds to get a shot off and try to win this thing. Big yep. offensive rebound there. It was indeed, and that's plenty of time to set your play up and, and get a good shot. Looks like Tober, you're right, Harold. He does have cramp. He, has, he has a cramp in the calf, and, and uh, Cates is coming in to take his place. And, boy, he is in some kind of pain as he hobbles over to the end of the bench. Well, you know, do you go to Ben or do you go to Young? Young has been hot the last five minutes. You know, I probably put the ball in, in the senior Young's hand and let him make the decision. Yeah. You know, uh, let him take it in, let him uh, make the decision on whether to get a shot or try to d dump it off to someone. Uh, but he's got 5.3 seconds, all kinds of time. And Alice Lloyd, a bucket away from remaining unbeaten. Kate lobs it in Young, he has it now. Goes down the lane with a runner off the glass, no good. And we head to overtime in our first night of action on Hometown 24 for the season and we'll go to overtime tied at 28.
Welcome back. Fan cam going on. A uh, picture of uh, a few of the students uh, at the ball game. I'm sure taking in the game on this uh, Tuesday night on campus. Some of the candy crazy. I've seen uh, Alabama t-shirt up here. Uh, that's a bright oh, person. Oh, man, in I, was in, I was in Alabama during the Iron Bowl last weekend, and it was something to behold. You know, that was some kind of football game, too. And uh, I watched it and still don't know how they how they Yeah. Uh, we I go to overtime with Sturgill coming in uh, with Phil Pot. Ben's back in there, Sloan and Young. As we head to a five-minute extra period. Ball is controlled by Alice Lloyd. Alice Lloyd is not led in the second half. Young to Sloan. He goes down inside the field pot, whips it back out, being in the corner. Thought about a three, now kicks it back outside. Got to get a driving layup by Young. First. That's what he wanted to do in regulation, yeah. end of regulation, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Alice Lloyd with the lead, 70 to 68. Jump shot. Good. Nice shot there by Evans. Young with 15 for Alice Lloyd. He's played well the second half. Only had two at halftime. Sloan in the corner. Gets it back out to Young, and now Ben will try three. No good. Not a bad shot. He got set. A lot of rim there. There's a steal. Ben has it three on one. Ben's going to take it himself. Missed the shot. Tried to draw the foul. Tried to draw the foul. Instead of taking it to the glass with authority, he tried to draw the foul. I think they're just going to get the water up on the go where a young man went down. And now we've got a guy with down. He may have a cramp as well. That is number 11, Rico Tate, it looks like, that uh, has a cramp. You're right. And uh, boy, early in the year, the condition, not what it's going to no. be a little later on. Right. But uh, right now, we're tied at 70 with 337 to go. And it looks like that uh, they're going to have to get someone in to yeah. replace Rico Tate. Looks like it's going to be Keaton, 34. Looks like Midway has got, I noticed Al Sloyd had a, two or three players sitting on the bench and not dressed tonight. Looks like Midway the same way. Al Sloyd playing in their ninth game. They had one forfeit, uh, but this is their eighth game this fourth participation. But that's a lot of games already starting the season, uh, just first of November. It'll be basketball belonging to Midway. We get back to play. Ball almost turned over, but Miller with a nice save. Step back jump shot, no good. Rebound field pot. Got a good look. Just that was Evans know. missed the shot. Young calling for the screen up high. Now Sloan to Ben. Ben takes it in, gets trapped underneath there, kicks it back out. Field pot. Now Young, floater in the lane, a high off the glass, no, and the rebound down to Midway. He makes that shot more times than not. Yes, he does. Difficult shot, too. Oh, what a tough shot that was. And that was Evans. Run out, and Ben goes to the glass and lays it in, and a foul. Foul was on 34, Keaton. 
Nick Keaton and going to the line. Man can give Alice Lloyd the lead. Been a super game for him tonight. Uh, he's come in and played well. Big free throw here. Chance to give Alice Lloyd the lead with two and a half to go. And no good. Boy, Alice Lloyd can look, look at only as far as the foul line. Yes, for this game. yes. Yep. Six out of eight in the last stretch. Miller is fouled by Ben, and the foul will send Miller to the line for two. That was their two uh, players of the game pretty much head-to-head -head right there. It is. Miller and Ben for Alice Lloyd. Yep. No question. Miller's shot is good. Young man approaching 30 points. Yes, he is. He gives his team the one-point lead with 2.19 to go. Number 28 coming up. Looks like Tobler come back into the lineup. He's worked the cramps out, evidently. Good again, and two-point lead for Midway. 29 for Miller. 2-10 to go in the ball game. And we got a foul. Going to be on Travis. Tobler's going to have to go back out of there as coming in will be Sturgill. <laughs> uh, looks like Travis is telling the fish why. Well, you know, good, good snow job because I didn't touch him. <laughs> <laughs> At the line, Sloan, good. Excellent free throw shooter, Sloan, point eight, nine, and ten on its way here. He can tie the game with 2.05 to go. And he does. And this is going to be a three-point shot, so he'll have one more chance to give Alice Lloyd the lead. Alice Lloyd, if they can get the lead and get a stop, would be in pretty good shape, wouldn't he? Yes, they would. Well, he got the shot, and the lead belongs to... The Eagles of Alice Lloyd, 75-74. Two minutes to go. Miller goes in deep. Gets it back out. Gardner, fall away. Good. Boy, what a, a tough shot that, that was. That was and went up. Not really squared well, but got a nice follow through on his shot to hit it. 76-75. Alice Lloyd down by one with the ball. Plenty of time on the shot clock at 15 seconds. Long three, Sloan, good boy. Downtown, downtown 30 Downtown Sloan will give Alice Lloyd a two-point lead. 13. What a deep three that was. Pure shooter from Danville, Kentucky. On the move, Tate. And now three the other way, no good. Rebound, Ben has it. 44 seconds ahead, Sloan to the basket. Has it blocked and taken away. Probably should Poor have decision held that there. Up. Yep. That was not a good decision. And what do we got? A foul on Ben. And once again, I thought it was a walk. You know, this takes place, but like you said, uh, 
should have brought the ball back out. Yeah, I don't understand yeah. Sloan's uh, thinking there. I really don't. And he didn't even put up a good attempt at the line and shooting and hitting is Evans. He can tie it with 34 seconds to go. Evans, 11th point, 12 coming up. Well, the last time we did a game together, it went four overtimes. Yeah, I know it. They wanted to play all night. This one is good. We're tied at 78. Half minute to go. Young, Phil Pot, Sloan in the backcourt. Needs to get it across the timeline, and Young does. Let's see if they'll hold it for one. Sure they will. Young at 18 seconds. Gardner out to contest it a little bit. Young, nine seconds, goes, fires, no good, put back. Sturgill, no good, put back. Phil Pot, good. 1.2 seconds, and Phil Pot has given Alice Lloyd the lead. Let's see what this is all about. Went to the board and uh, midway. Did not rebound and give the Eagles two extra shots in that second. We got timeout on the floor with 1.2 seconds to go, and Alice Lloyd leading 80 to 78, and it was their uh, prowess off the offensive glass that did the job here, because first Sturgill missed at point blank range, but Phil Pot made no mistake. Yeah, it's a nice rebound. He goes up strong, uses the board, puts the ball in the square, and uh, gets the bucket, and hits a big bucket right now. 1.3 seconds. they got to bring it the length of the court. Yes. Not like girls basketball where you can call time yeah, out and I advance know. the It'd ball. Be, it would be nice right now at this particular spot if they could set the ball at midcourt, but – it is what it is, <laughs> and it's not going to happen. How many people from Midway watching this game, you think? Uh, probably not many. Uh, probably not. So we can be we can be for Alice Lloyd, okay? <laughs> so I'm glad they're not advancing the ball. <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, 1.3 seconds remaining, Miller will inbound. Uh. Nice move by Coach Cornett. They'll fire it long. And the ball is knocked down and stolen. Phil Pot has won the game for the uh, Eagles. And as good as it looks, we still got to go with Ben as our Ellis Lloyd College player of the game. Yes, we do. 80 to 78 in overtime. Alice Lloyd remains unbeaten. And 9-0 on the season, David Adams. Yeah, what a game. It was a good ball game. Both teams, I thought, played extremely hard. And uh, Al Lloyd was able to hit some shots down the stretch. And I thought their defense tightened up on midway as well in the last uh, two or three minutes of regulation. And then in overtime, uh, some good defense as well, Harold. Good ball game. 80-78, what can you ask for in opening night? Oh, it was great. We really uh, – Saw a great game. We really did. It was uh, a game that uh, going in, uh, you know, you had to believe, well, Alice Lloyd probably not going to win this game. They didn't play very well, but yeah. they played just well enough when they had to, and they win it 80-78. to 78. We'll be uh, right back here Thursday night, a high school doubleheader on Hometown 24 and 25. It'll be Knox County Central and Letcher Central, Cordia and Prairie County Central. For David Adams, I'm Harold Mullins. And thanks for joining us. Until Good next night. time, have yourself a great one, won't you? Great beginning to the basketball season. Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. A place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between. We're committed.